Peach, how are you doing? And welcome back to Lethal Company. In this video, we're going to be doing a special playthrough of this game where we're going to focus on the story of Lethal Company. There's these data chips that you can find all around the different maps that tell you the story of Sigurd and his crew and what they learned about the job as well as the secrets they uncovered about the company. This went a whole lot deeper than I expected because I had actually, before this video, never found all these logs. I've played several hundred hours of this game, gotten to an 8,000 quota, but I had never actually known about the whole story, which was super cool to discover. And on top of that, we're also going to be scanning all of the monsters, reading all of the lore about the monsters, and just have an all-around immersive playthrough. This was super cool. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, so we're focusing on lore today. Oh, we're going to hear this. Uh, we're going to be playing solo, scanning all the monsters, folks, getting all the data chips, going Welcome to all of the planets. The uh, we are also in orange today. The ship. company clothes. <laughs> first of all, hello there. It's my first day. I've never played this game before. How does it work? Make yourself at home. To complete the onboarding process, you would want to check the instruction manual and sign into your ship's computer terminal. We hope you will be a great asset to the company. Great, great asset. Now, if you've played this game and uh, it was your first time, you might have looked around in the ship and seen a little post-it note on the side of the computer. You're in deep. Access file Sigurd. This is going to be the start of our lore playthrough here. Uh, if you find this and you go to the terminal, first of all, if it's actually your first time logging in, I think it asks you, like, what's your favorite animal and what's your role in the team dynamic. We've obviously already played the game many times. So we're going to type... Sigurd, which uh, leads to Sigurd's log entries. Now, I've actually never explored all of these, so that's why I wanted to do this, like, full lore playthrough. We're just going to go through all the planets, find all the lore, and read all about it. So, uh, view first log. Uh, date August 22nd, 1968. So long ago. Hello, I am writing this log to keep myself sane. I couldn't find a way to do the most basic things on this old janky butt computer, but uh, so I had Desmond add it in the log or add in a log feature. Till now, I've just been adding my own notes to the bestiary, whatever I know. My brother said I should, should keep a journal, so I'm doing what I can. I'm writing in a professional matter, as these logs could become a historical record, as they will probably be here for for years. I love how it's all misspelled. It's just like this guy is just typing really fast or something. Just as long as there isn't a clean wipe. That is what Desmond said. If you are reading this in the future, you are probably from a, from another crew. The turnover rate here is enormous. Maybe because this job sucks and everyone turns over dead. Maybe I can give some help when I have some experience and log. Oh, and our names are, here we go, Sigurd, Richard, Desmond, and Jess. So that is the original crew of this ship that we were in. Now, they're no longer here, so we can probably guess what happened to them. Uh, but anyway, we're going we're gonna to start by going to the first planet, which is experimentation. So what's the lore about experimentation? Let's see. Population abandoned. Conditions arid. Thick haze. Worsened by industrial artifacts. Which, by the way, that's another thing I want to do. I want to go around these planets and look around. Obviously, we're going to have to do that to find the data chips. But I haven't really... Um looked at all the like different structures on these planets for example there's like a house on rend or something which is super cool now we have all the we're by ourselves so we get to spend all our money so we're gonna buy a flashlight we're gonna buy a shovel oh the shovels are on sale oh yeah isn't that always the case when you start up uh we have a little bit of money left but we're just gonna save that money and uh pick up our stuff Hello there, beautiful world. It's my first day on the job, uh, which, by the way, tips for the job. Use the terminal, read the manual, watch the clock, stick together with who? Don't miss the quota. We're not going to miss the quota. Hello there. We're going to scan all the monsters, obviously, which first one is going to be roaming locusts, which obviously don't do anything. They will actually just go away and away and walk up to them. Uh, I want my flashlight. Thank you very much. Now, you can see that we have five inventory slots. I just added that because playing solo can be extremely annoying. So I added one inventory slot. Um, where are these data pads? I think, isn't there one over here? I know the entrance is over there. But we're taking a little detour here because we are immersed. We are on an immersive ride here. Uh, what is this building, by the way? What the hell? I've never been here. This looks spooky. Is there anything in here? It's a ship. It's so dark. What? It's super foggy in here. There's no way to get up to the railing. I'm gonna... I think one is over here. Isn't there one up here? Yeah, I'm no longer boss. I am now intern. I don't think I've ever climbed all the way up to this tower here. But we need to find Sigurd's logs. We need to figure out what happened to the old crew. 
the original crew. Because obviously they're not on the ship anymore. So, is there one? Oh, there is one. Let's go. Found journal entry, August 27th, the thing of the swing of things. So they've already survived five days, right? The first one was 22nd. Um, can I just, I don't want to die. I'm letting go. Uh, is there another one? I've been told that there is two logs on experimentation. There's like another one on the pipe or something. We need to check that one out as well. Uh, but first we're gonna go in. I'm not gonna immediately go back to the ship and read this because then we would run out of time completely. So uh, we're gonna go in first, then make sure we pick up the, the log entry on the way back. Which by the way, fun fact about experimentation, if you keep walking back and forth here between this this border here, the, the garage door will eventually close completely, which um, is very silly. I don't know why that's a mechanic. I've never seen it like fully close. Uh, we're also gonna try and do like relative full clears of the different planets. Just, I mean, we're gonna survive as much as possible, try to get to at least every planet once before we get sent into outer space because we missed our quota. Uh, you would think they go a little easier on the solo guy, but nope, this company is not messing around. Uh, I will take this. I'm always gonna drop my stuff outside so the yippies don't steal it. You don't have to worry about baboon hawks on this map. If you are on March or something, a baboon hawk can actually steal the stuff that you lay outside. Uh, there's also a mine on the stairs, dude. I'm not going up there. That is dangerous for me. You know me. I'm the minesweeper. I could jump this probably. That looks insanely dangerous. I will not be doing that. I could maybe buy a stun grenade and minesweep that way. Oh, this is spooky. Now there's a, ooh, there's a key and bottles. There's a fire escape, obviously, that we can also reach. Now I actually haven't gone to rend in, or rend, I haven't gone to experimentation in so long because this map is absolutely horrendous when it comes to loot. And I usually do like try hard runs with a large crew of professional gamers. So I thought we'd spice it up and go immersion mode. I'm gonna keep the key on me just for now. I didn't look at the clock, but I'm assuming it's still early. Uh, X8. If we need to open that later, remember X8, guys. Oh, and B3, but that, I don't think this door is important. Yeah, X8. Uh, now, what is nice about experimentation, what's actually super satisfying about it, is that the map is so small. So you can pretty much full clear it every time. Um, even as a solo player, you can get a relative full clear, uh, which is just... I don't know. It's, I, it tickles my brain. It's like, oh, this is... You get like an S rank. Oh, there's the fire escape. Uh, and there's a present for me. Uh, plus a V-type engine and maybe some... No, all the power is on. All right. Uh, that's actually quite a bit of loot for experimentation, honestly. This is not bad. Um, we came from up there, right? There's nothing... Oh, there's a large axle down there. All right, I'm just going to drop this uh, down then here. To save myself a little bit of time. We're going to go boom and boom. I'm assuming that... Did that just fall into the out... Uh, that might have fallen out of bounds. <laughs> well, it is it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main entrance now and also check one of the side rooms here. I didn't scan, so I don't know how much loot there is. Uh, we got to remember to scan. I usually don't scan when we're doing tryhard runs because it doesn't matter because you need to get all the loot anyway. So knowing how much loot there is doesn't really change anything because uh, you're going to have to find it all regardless. Oh, it's the apparatus room. Wait, it's locked. No, don't be locked. Oh, let's go. Okay, we definitely want this. Dude, this is insane. This is super good loot or experimentation, honestly. I think there's a flask, too. What is this? This might actually be the most stacked experimentation I've ever seen in my entire life. This is a great start. I'm going to leave the apparatus for a second, and I'm just going to drop this loot at the fire escape for now, which was... Oh, no, that was... Actually, this might be closer. So it's this way. Honestly... I've been really loving the spray paint recently. I'm just going to go to the fire escape uh, because I forgot where the rest is. Uh, the spray paint has really helped me find um, my way back when I got lost on planets. And if you haven't been using it, it is definitely, I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Okay, it's 2 p.m. still early. I'm going to go grab the, I don't think there's much more than this apparatus. So I'm just going to go grab the apparatus here and then probably we're gonna make sure we get that lore page uh, and get the hell out of here very good start indeed so what i also want to do because this is an immersive playthrough i want to make the base feel like home i want to try and uh get some decorations see all of those and decorate the base as much as we can because we don't need to spend money on like a signal transmitter or a teleporter or something um because those are not 
Um, those are not useful when you play single player. Now, obviously, I haven't seen a monster yet. I, what if I just randomly died there? I kind of forgot that this is a horror game and we are supposed to look out for monsters. But that's kind of the experimentation experience that you are like... I remember when I first went to experimentation and I was like, what is this game about? There's nothing going on. And then I got killed by a Bracken and I screamed and then I played it for 200 hours after. Okay, we're gonna drop the stuff down. Make sure to not drop it inside of the wall this time i think i actually probably lost that loot so we need to go on this pipe you're saying wait a minute i need to grab this now then wait how do i reach the pipe do i just jump this seems dangerous you know what i'm just gonna drop this down and then we're gonna try and make that jump this one from the railing onto the pipe okay huh okay and then it's somewhere on the pipe i've never been here oh and you can go all the way to the this is cool. This is like a little... This is a pretty safe shortcut back to the ship. I'm assuming it's here somewhere. Uh, All the way at the end of the pipe. Or on these. I thought it was on that thing. But I've never found it anyway, so... um, It's not here. Data chip. Oh, I see something. Is that a data chip? It is a... Wait. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Wait, you can go all the way out here? Shady. August 31st. Okay. Dude, new lore. All right, we need to bring back all the loot before it's too late. Uh, will I take fall damage from this? Probably, yes. Uh, maybe if I jump on... I'm just gonna fall down. Oh, on the rock. Look at that. I hope there's no worms, because the worms can actually easily kill me. If we die during this run, so be it. It's gonna happen. Uh, it's part of the experience. Um, I'm not gonna, obviously, reset. We're just gonna be knocked out and sent back to the ship. It's totally immersive. Um... Did this get... Yeah, this totally got clipped. And, oh, no, I can grab it. Okay, nice. I can grab it. So we're gonna go boom, boom, and the apparatus. We are 90 pounds. Very, very heavy. We're gonna just bring this back, hopefully not die to a worm. Seems totally safe out here. Uh, it is late. Now, we haven't even scanned a monster yet because we haven't found any, which is fine because that means we're gonna have more to scan on the different planets. Uh, apparatus collected. Boom. Only, what was that? It was a flashbang. That's not very good. I'm going to leave that here just in case I die. I also need to grab my shovel back um, from the main. No monsters. If we, if we find, like, an Isla's dog, that's going to be a cool scan for the first day. I think we're safe, though. Uh, there's two more engines over there, but I think I also had bottles out here. Yeah, I have... Holy, dude. Okay, I'm going to take all this back, and then we're going to have to take two more trips for the other engines. Um, which might be too risky, but I think I'm gonna do it. What's the worst that could happen? It gets spooky when it gets late. Once it's like 11 p.m., you can't see anything outside anymore. This is insane. I don't think I've ever collected this much loot on experimentation. Let alone by myself. <laughs> what the hell? So there could be a worm out here, which would absolutely ruin my day, but we can just run. We can drop and run as fast as we can. Because we only weigh a little bit now with one one axle. Okay, well, there's one more thing. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, we're gonna scan after this. Are we actually gonna full court? I didn't check one room because I was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We found a dog. Dog time. Why? Oh, this is scary. Why am I doing this for a fucking 29 engine? 24 engine doesn't wait can we do the wait 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 what if we take the pipe pipe trick can we jump on the pipe with this and skip the dog is that the plan yeah we i want to scan the dog but we're gonna get many chances to scan the dog so if we can just avoid encountering it altogether, i will take that let's see i've never used the pipe Ooh, pipe trick nice strats because the dog was right over there I mean, it's not right at the... Sh it's not like... Uh, which map has it? Like, offense, where you can jump off the pipe straight onto the... Straight onto the ship. Here, you kind of got to go a little further. Uh, as long as I don't jump straight into a dog's mouth, we should be okay. Can there even be giants down here? I'm going to take the same jump here. Okay, ship will almost leave. That's fine. I don't think it's anywhere close. Oh, oh there's two of them. Can we scan? All right, we scanned it.
That is fucking spooky, bro. <laughs> this is scary as shit. How much loot was there? Two objects worth 76. How much was there on this planet, dude? Oh, there's a worm as well. All right, I'm gonna send it up to space because we got some lore reading to do, but I am scared to be out here. We just got 380 from experimentation without beehives. How? That's nuts, man. So I always separate out my heavy items and my small items. We also have a flash grenade. I even got my loot. Yeah, I got my equipment back as well. Is it gonna be an S rank? It was a massive S rank. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, that's diff. Oh god. See, I'm an intern. Look at the end. It says intern. That's because my experience bar is broken as well. Once you get to, once you get too high level, your experience uh, bar is broken. Am I not on voice activation? Oh, I need to go to voice activation, of course, for uh, for immersion mode. We're gonna do that. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we had new lore, right? First of all, I want to read the bestiary. Uh, we're gonna start with the roaming locusts. Um. Sigurd's danger level zero. Scientific name, Anacridium viga. Known as roaming locust, this is a species of grasshopper. Unlike some species which are more prone to jump or fly, roaming locusts are almost never grounded and stay close together, even when in smaller numbers. They will quickly disperse when a predator disrupts them, but are highly attracted to light. Is that actually true? Can you lead them with a flashlight? There's a lot of misinformation in these lore things, so you shouldn't take everything at face value. You should take it with a, train, uh, a grain of salt, but... Uh, anyway, let's check the other one. Isla's dogs. Here we go. That's our first actual monster. Isla's dogs. Scientific name, Leo Cesus. Um, a large mammal of the class Septivus. They are social, hunting in very large packs. They have also been called breathing lions for their recognizable sound and large mouths. They are endurance hunters and attempt to make up for their lack of sight with their sense of hearing. It's a popular myth that they often send... Often mistake the sounds of their own kind for prey, entering fights within their own packs. Interesting. Their behavior is unique from other pack animals in, that in their tendency to spread out far to cover distance. When an eyeless dog has found prey, it roars to alert others in the near vicinity who will also sound the alarm, sometimes resulting in a kind of chain reaction. Eyeless dogs can be dangerous in swarms. However, they are characteristically clumsy, taking guesses at the prey's exact location, which are often incorrect. This is actually super useful. These are like a genuine useful uh lore tidbits while not or useful tips for the monster while not being like this is what you got to do against him so like the the jumps like you can easily avoid them if you run somewhere you hear the growl you crouch down and you walk away from where you stopped running to make them dash at where you were last seen or last heard i guess uh and you won't die now sometimes they will randomly walk into you at which point they will kill you but yeah uh, and the chain reaction as well for example if you call something if you call like a ship uh down from um from like the company like you buy a walkie-talkie or something that will bait the uh the eyeless dogs as well as the loud horn as well as the boom box the uh, radar booster just many ways to use the sound to your advantage okay so now that we have read those uh let's read the log entries i don't think i've read read these yet swing of things we have swing of things august 27 which is five days after the first log we got into the swing of things in the past few days. That's what Rich keeps keeps saying. He smells like a rancid tuna can. Worst summer camp I've ever been on. Date is August 27, 1968. We make sure someone is all someone always has a shovel for bashing anything that moves, and we always put someone on camera duty so they can open these big security doors with letters and numbers. Ask Desmond the wizard how that works. I think he or you mean Jojo the ship mom. Um, he just types in the code that's on the door. Dude, this is actually like like, the, the game was made with like a terminal person in mind which is kind of weird why the game doesn't have default five player lobby size in my opinion because i feel like um having one person in the ship and two people in groups of two is like the perfect way to play this game i feel like four is slightly too few um i think yeah so he types in the code we sold some goods to the company today at 70 percent value i got my nerves chilled listening to the fucking psychotic sounds behind the counter no one else gave any frick or question mark i can't ignore that i can't ignore that my flashlight didn't even go back wait i can't ignore that my flashlight didn't even go back there the beam just went dark what the hell uh so yeah our first little lore bit about the company building uh shady 
date is August 31st, 1968. So a few four days later, uh, I got camera duty again. I hate walking on this moon anyway. Aha, jokes on them. It just started raining. I'm just sitting, can't sleep on these tiny beds for ants. I've been thinking a lot. I think this job is shady. If you're reading this, you probably got here the same as me. The pay is good. The contract only lasts a season. They ran you through their assessment exam on the phone with a weird voice. You signed the contract on the shuttle with the rest of your crew, but the whole time you didn't talk to anyone. The shuttle was autopiloted. I think the voice on the phone was fake. I've had the worst dreams, I think. I, just, I think I just want to go back home, but I'm not going to crawl home crying and scratching on Dad's front door. That's not what his son... That's not his son. That's not Sigurd. Wait, we're on a season? A full season? So, like, three months? Wait, uh, how long was our 8K quota run? That was, like, 60 days, so that's two months. So we're, like, two-thirds through our... <laughs> Imagine with, like, future updates or, like, incredible future strats. It's actually going to be possible to survive 90 days. And then you'll get, like, a special ending, like, the, the true ending for you beating night. I wonder, is there anything like it? It's impossible right now to beat that far. But that's interesting. So, yeah, anyway, we read that. I didn't know that. So that's cool lore. Uh, that means we have seen all the lore, which means uh, we are going to take a nap in our bed, which has four bunk beds, indeed. Um, and we're going to move on to the next planet. Let's see the planet. We're not. We're going to do them in order as long as that's possible assurance uh is going to be our next planet which i think also has one yes uh, so we're going to go to assurance let's read about this moon uh, assurance population abandoned as all of them uh, condition jagged and weather terrain fauna ecosystem supports territorial behavior all right then okay well let's go down no, not every moon has two tapes. I think the only moon that has two tapes is experimentation. So we got a lot a lot of stuff, man. Uh, I am going to charge my flashlight and I guess take the shovel as well. Uh, take the shovel. So I rem if I remember... Oh, this, so this is this is ass. Welcome to ass. Um, I tend to... It's so fun to revisit these planets because I almost never go to these planets because, like, you do three rounds on, like, Vow, March, March... Rend, 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 dine, 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 rend, dine, rend, dine, titan, rend, rend, dine, rend, dine. Like, when you do tryhard runs, you basically never go to the free planets after the first three days. So it's uh, it's nice to actually be here for once. I think it's laying over here. Yeah, there it is. What is this one? Uh, smells here. August 20... Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> this is more about Richard, I think. Um... So we have, what was the crew again? Jess, Richard, Desmond, and Sigurd. I wonder, because I've never read, like, every single lore, if they're slowly gonna, like, uh, die one by one or something. Like, in the lore, that would be cool. Uh, so this is Ass, which Ass is good because there is a fire escape that you can also easily get onto. There's a ladder over there you can jump on the pipe. Uh, we're gonna go main first. Uh, I'm also gonna drop this on my first slot. Hello there. Oh, we don't. I'll go do right wall strats first. I don't have a key. I remember when I never would make these jumps because they were too terrifying for me. Good old days. Oh, immediately tunnel network. We got P1, but I don't think we have to be here. I hope we find a monster today. No mines, please. Uh, because I haven't. We haven't scanned a monster yet. Oh, this is a shitty. Hopefully, no bracken. Bracken solo are like the most dangerous monster. How much is this worth? This can be worth anything between, like, 20 to 80. Always make sure to check this, because it can be that one of them starts off. Uh, there's a laser boy that we're 99! My brother in Christ, that's insane. Okay, then. I will take it. Oh, in this room? There's a stop sign. Okay. Wait, we're full already. Is there anything more here to get? This is insane. There's an engine and a, co a comedy mask. Wait, I wish there was lore about items as well. Okay, well, we're going to have to bring this back all the way and then come back here to pick up the rest. What the hell? That's insane. So much stuff. That's a yield sign? Yeah, I know. So the yield sign is actually way worse than the stop sign because it's way heavier. You can Look at this. It's 31. It's 42 pounds, which means you way rather just have a stop sign instead. Uh, we have to go past the mine here. I guess I'm glad. So, the Shurns is still pretty small. Uh, yeah, maps on this map. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, we need we need all kinds of lore explanation. I'm pretty sure I went past this jump here, right? I'm just checking around. I'm, I'm being the most paranoid employee of all time now. That's a scary jump with that much 
that much loot. I'm being the most paranoid employee because I don't want to die to a Bracken, which I think Brackens spawn relatively frequently on this map. Okay, so we're going to go all the way back there to pick up the rest. Uh, as well. Oh no, something's coming out of the Ah! Ah! I'm going to die! Ooh, what the fuck, bro? Spider! Help! Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Spider, we found our first inside enemy. <laughs> Let's go, Jesus Christ. Oh, I hate it here. This is where you quit, man. This is the time you quit your job. When you see a spider that size, I'm not coming back here. No, thank you. Okay, so is there anything? This is basically all the loot. Um, Yeah, I scanned it. I scanned it. So we can read about it after this. Um, I have the yield sign as well, so we could kill it. But the spider is mostly dangerous when you're, like, caught off guard. Like that right there. That's pretty much the scare. Because once it's, like, set up its webs, it's actually kind of easy to deal with. Because it'll just chill. Oh, God. Can I get out of here? There's a fucking spore lizard, too! Wait. There's a spore lizard. Scan him. Scan his ass. Even if we die, we got two scans. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we scan our friend. Uh, can I make it? Pa okay, he's on the ceiling there. That's actually... You fuck off. That's actually perfectly acceptable. Um, so this is where spiders are easy to deal with. Once they've set up their web, I mean, they can't... Oh, God. There's one there. What the fuck, man? This is fucking terrifying. Ah! Ah! Get me out of here. Okay, I think it's time to give that... Uh... <laughs> To give that fire exit I was talking about a, a chance. Uh, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> this is fucked up, man. All right, we're gonna quickly drop this off. We're gonna make a trip back to grab the rest of the loot as well. Holy. <laughs> I haven't seen birds. Where are the birds at? I want to scan the birds. All right, we got this. Uh, we should also scan. We got our mask, by the way, on this planet. How much more is there? There is 12 obs. Whoa, that's an insane spawn. What are these spawns for ass? That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna grab the rest first uh, before we go fire. Already 4 p.m. is a little unfortunate, but that still means we got enough time. It's like halfway through the day. Uh, I have. I will not take the shovel in there, I don't think, because we already saw a spy. I mean, there could be a thumper, which would be very bad. Uh, we got 600 on the ship, which is pretty dang good. We haven't seen a beehive yet, sadly. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the shovel. I might regret this immediately when we go fire escape, which, by the way, fire escape is over here. Uh, there is a ladder which you can climb. I'm just looking around because there could be bees. We're, I can't wait to go to March. We're not gonna go to March on the first quota because the first three days, like, Vow is gonna be our next planet. Unless we can't go to Vow for whatever reason. We'll go to offense or something. We're gonna visit each planet once. Um, and I will make the jump. Whoop. Remember when jumps were scary? I remember. I remember when I never wanted to jump and let everyone else do that because I kept dying to them. Okay, nothing. No items in here either. Are we on the opposite? I hope we're far away from the spider. The goddamn spookiest spider. They look so scary, man. <laughs> They're absolutely terrifying. Are you fucking with me? Did he go back? What is this, dude? What a scam! Hopefully I'm not gonna walk into the spider. Is there a mine here? I don't hear a mine, so I'm gonna assume I'm safe. Where the fuck? There we go. No spider in here? Okay, this is... What the fuck? There's two of them?! Two... <laughs> fogs stacked on top of each other? Okay, I'm assuming the spider... Wait, is this...? Oh, you have to explore more in the tunnel network? You could suck an egg, mister. Is he still there? Oh, yeah, he totally... Look at that guy. Look at that dude. He is literally camping. I, I could fight him, but I this is too close quarters to fight him. If I had, like, a... If I had a better way to run away from... Maybe this could have worked. Like, running up here, smacking. But I don't even have my shovel, and it's already late. I'm gonna take the fire escape back home, and we're gonna do some lore reading. <laughs> um, maybe there is... Oh, I forgot. Wait a minute. I was like, I, I was like, the scan is insane. 
but I forgot we don't have the better scanner mod. I only use that when I'm tryharding, so this is like, for some reason, the default scan is extremely busted, so it has like double the value for some reason. So yeah, this is not actually a thousand value on the planet. That would be crazy. Okay, we're gonna go back. This means we don't have to leave yet. We should be careful though, because we have voice recognition. So, yeah. I think I've got to read some lore pages here, though. We got voice activation. Let's see. Sigurd, we have smells here. Uh, gosh, this suit, suit is squeezing me like I'm a goddamn mummy. I'm a grown man. Give it some space between the legs. It's killing me. I'm dying. I hope you're happy, Dad. I finally got a job. Screw you. Everyone here smells, especially Rich. I'm going to throw him in the lake. I don't care what it's made of. I love being on camera duty. Wait, I love being on camera duty. Oh, I forgot the date. It's August 24th, 1968. This keyboard has blah, 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 blah. Today we found a couple frying pans and a big nail worth almost nothing. What is the company even using it for? So this one is actually earlier then. This one is before the swing of things. So they were just, it was like their first two days. So they went to, they went to experimentation on the first day. And then, I don't know what on the third, second day, and then the ass on the third day. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of here. It's a little early, we missed a few items, but the spider is making our life a little difficult. Uh, we're gonna kill enemies. Don't worry, that was just a bad setup for the spider kill. Uh, and if it was, like, at the start of the day, we could've... Hold on to the shovel. We gotta fight a thumper and stuff. Thumpers are totally fightable. Like, there's several monsters that you think at first are, like, the most dangerous and the entire game and then you realize you can just fight their ass uh check the spider log yeah here we go you see i forgot uh bunker spider we still got a date bunker spider bunker spider sigurd danger level 20 percent which is very low scientific name mutin mutinum facidula bunker spiders of the genus theraphosa are the largest arachnid found in the thistle nebula uh, so this is also drawn by Sigurd. Yeah, this is also written by Sig Sigurd. So we get some lore here that this this old nebula uh, is where we are. And the second largest ever discovered, second largest ever discovered, by the way. What's the largest spider look like? I don't know. I don't think I want to meet them. It's believed they evolved to prey on large mammals over the course of a measly several hundred years after the boat made its trip around the Thistle Nebula. Refer to speculation on increased speed speciation around the fading nebulae. Wait, can you speculation? Can you type that? This reminds me of like the iron lung like lore update. Remember that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can do that. But anyway, let's read the rest. Um, Bunker spiders produce silk and lay it around their chosen nesting area, then wait for it to be tripped on. They can be seen waiting on walls, often over doorways where prey could enter unaware. If you find a bunker spider unprepared, it may freeze as a defensive reaction. In this case, they are be be best left alone. If a bunker spider reacts aggressively, it is best to not fight with ordinary tools. They use their webs to make up for their rather slow movement. So they take note of your so take note of your surroundings. Their webs can be broken easily with any blunt tool. Bunker spiders can pose a great danger to humans and urban explorers especially, without a great benefit to their ecosystem. A resulting kill on site order has been informally agreed upon between many states home to the bunker spider and is currently improved by the ITDA as of wait 10 6 20 what 2497 never mind this is not written by sigurd that's several hundred years after sigurd is dead dude okay wait so i guess he he wrote a little bit about this but then it's been updated since by the company uh i okay so he has added some information about it but there's also been extra information added since so yeah we're in the massive future so we are this must be unless there's like time travel involved here we must be uh like 500 years after sigurd has already passed away um okay so bunker spy I, what i really like about this is that they actually give some like tips again on so if you kind of encounter a bunker spider unaware they will freeze or unprepared they will freeze which is actually how you can uh like neutralize a bunker spider by having someone look it look at it like it's a coil head 
you can like when it's first spawns and someone sees it it will like lock eyes with you and it'll just not move at all so you can just hold an eye on it and just keep it in a corner somewhere and it will never be a problem although bunker spiders are not that dangerous they can be if they pick annoying areas but generally not very much okay next bestiary um spore lizards spore lizards Secret's danger level, I don't know, probably 5%. I just hate this pudgy-legged little shit. What, Sigurd? What the fuck is wrong with you? Scientific name, Lacerta glomerorum. Colloquially named puffers or spore lizards. Lacerta glomerorum of the family Alligatoridae is one of the largest and heaviest reptiles. Despite their large mouths, they are herbivores and do not have a strong bite. The bulbs on their tails are believed to secrete a chemical chemical which reacts which attracts and accelerates the growth of the fungus species Lysoperdon perlatum, which it can then shake to release spores as a defensive mechanism. A unique example of a mutualistic symbiotic relationship. Spore lizards have a very temper timid temperament, tending to avoid all confrontation if possible. If their attempts at threat display are not effective, they may attempt to attack, so it's not, to, not recommended to corner or chase one. There are historical records that spore lizards were at least partially domesticated hundreds of years ago. However, this effort was set aside by an initiative to harvest their tails for their me medicinal properties. Feels bad, man. They're being farmed and killed for their tails. Uh, so yeah, that's the friend. Uh, and I think that's everything we have right now, dude. This is fun. All right, well, we're going to move on to the next planet. We have one more day until we need to sell. Vow is foggy, which I am not going to a foggy vow because I will be lost forever and ever. So we're going to skip ahead to March, I guess. Um, which uh, means we go to probably one of the best planets in the early game, at least. Uh, March, abandoned. Uh, conditions expansive constant rain fauna diverse yeah it feels bad man the tails can the tails the well they're medicinal right so they are like harvesting them uh we want to get some extra money for like decorations and stuff okay let's actually scan this time uh 21 objects okay there could be beehives i would love to have a beehive any beehives out there um we're gonna go to lots of fire escapes so it's unlikely oh we can buy another shovel after this quota right uh, i know there is wait a minute i know there well we're gonna go to the fire escapes later but i know there is a uh a data chip at one of the fire escapes that we'll find the music is it gonna come back it's gone i heard some music when we landed I hope we'll hear it a little bit throughout the playthrough because there, there's so many musical things in this game. Like the drop pod, the music that sometimes happens when you're walking around outside. The like great, great asset song. Oh, there's a beehive. Okay. So I've been told, I don't know if this is true, but I'm just, oh my God. I'm assuming it is because it's kind of fits with my own experience of the game. Um, I've been told that the further away a beehive is from the base, the more money you get for them. So let's, and that's why so many beehives often have the same price. Um, let's see how much this is. That's 105. That seems fitting. So it's going to be hard to get both of these, but I think we're going to spend some time to bring these back. So the way you do this, you walk up to them, you trigger the bees, then you do a circle, you spam E, and then you run towards the ship until your stamina bar is disappeared. Then you let go because you have a little bit of extra stamina after... Like, the stamina bar doesn't fully show what you actually have in terms of stamina. Then you gotta wait all the way until it regenerates. Or, alternatively, you can have a friend pick it up at this point. What you don't want to do, this is the noob mistake, which I have totally done in my, uh, when I first started playing this game, is that you do this in a group. You do not ever want to, like, have one person trigger the bees and another person uh, run away with the with the beehive because then the bees will go roam around be on the loose and it is very once you get like caught by the bees you cannot get away unless you're right at an exit and you can like click uh, click on the door to get into the facility so it is literally just like a an absolute killing machine that'll just be on the loose everywhere there's another beehive right there you see that so you do not want to do that i'm gonna drop it here real quick because i want to bring it a little closer uh i'm curious how much this is worth wait a minute there's three beehives. I think the max amount of beehives you can take when you're playing solo is two. So we can't really do these. Uh, but I'm just curious how much this is worth. I should have scanned the other one. How much is this worth? That's also 105. So we'll take that one instead then. Because this one is way closer. Um, so yeah, if I was with another player here, we could have had 
uh, 300, but this is fine. I mean, actually, you know what? I might have a strategy for three beehives, but it's going to be impossible if there's giants and stuff. But I kind of want to give it a shot because that would change solo play for me. Okay, this is bad. I'm going to leave this first one in here because it has to be very close to the entrance because we're going to have to grab that one immediately, basically. Um, I, we're wasting a lot of... Well, we're not wasting any time. This is by far the best way I could spend my time right now. And this is going to mean that if we go into the base later, uh, we're going to have a higher chance of seeing monsters and being able to scan some of them. Now, obviously, if I die, all this work's going to be in vain, but that's fine. Um, wait, them. Don't touch me. So we're going to probably uh, drop this one. Can we drop it next to that one without dying? And then the other one, what I want to try is take one beehive. No, you can't. And then close the door. Can you close the doors on bees? Or I've seen bees go through doors. I don't think you can do that, right? You can't close the door on bees. They just go through it. I think that's the thing. So then my strategy wouldn't work. I'm just gonna drop this on the side then and just, yeah, you can't. Okay, that's unfortunate because what I was thinking is pick up a beehive or you know what? Wait a minute. I have a plan. I have a plan. It's so insane. It just might work. We're gonna take the other beehive and we're gonna take it to the facility, go inside the facility with the beehive so then the beehives detach or the bees detach from the beehive. Um, and then I can bring that beehive back safe while the bees are roaming around this is a plan this is five this seems smart it sounds smart to me so i'm gonna try it later uh, but first we're gonna have to go in there hopefully there's no if there's like dogs or giants around we're gonna ditch that plan and just um focus on i should probably well i don't know we'll see we'll, we'll we'll reassess the situation once we leave again first we go in here and see what's up with this how we doing any brackens around? I want to scan a bracken. Brackens are creepy. Oh, there's a key. Brackens will also totally kill me, by the way. Brackens are very easy to counter in multiplayer because you'll just have, like, other players look at them. But in single player, they can be very brutal. I oh, another one of these rooms with nothing. What the heck? What a scam, dude. Unlucky. I'm not gonna open this door if it's locked. It is not locked, but there's an axle. All right, I'll drop this outside. I guess we go fire escapes. Just check all these side rooms real quick. Was there anything else? There was nothing else really. We can make this jump though. Is this the hardest jump? Oh, that is the annoying jump. You know what? We need to check the, um, I'm gonna pick this up because we need to go to one of the fire escapes to find the lore page, which I think is on this one potentially or the next one. I don't know exactly. What's an axe? Well, I'm not gonna... Oh, there's birds! We can get the bird scan. There we go. Manticoil. We got another bestiary. We're gonna get them all, so that means we're gonna potentially die to a worm later down the line when we have to trigger the worm. Uh, March has three fire escapes, which is... Everyone knows this. Um, it's super useful. I'm gonna drop this here. Gotta, gotta catch them all. Two fire escapes right next to each other. That's unfortunate. But there's the tunnel network here, which if I can get the apparatus would be... Totally fine. I haven't heard a monster yet. What is oh, that's not good. Um, spooky. No face lizard. Please. Wait, maybe I should have the shovel right now. Just in case I get face lizarded. Wait, no, because in solo they don't kill you. So it doesn't matter. I forgot. In solo, if you get face lizard or a uh, snare fleed, it doesn't kill you ever. So you don't have to worry about that. There's another key there. Which I'll take. I'm getting a little off course here. Also, you can close doors behind you to avoid Bracken sneaking up on you. Um, this is... Oh, I guess I'll open that just for the off chance that there is... No, there's no item in here. That's fine. We had two keys anyway. We have C1. Something is coming out of the vent there. Hit, uh, what the fuck is this? Is this a Yippee? This is Yippee Stash. Take it and run. That's totally yippy stash. Drop this out here and take the rest. There's gonna be a yippy that's gonna be very angry at me here in a, literally a second. Can we scan him though? Wait, there was something coming out of the vent. I wanna see if I can scan that. Hello? Hello?
I don't know, man. I'm scared. I want to leave. Yippee is the loot bug. Yeah, we call him Yippee because we... Uh, they say Yippee. All right, I'm just going to take all this. I guess I'll leave this. Um, and bring it back. Now, you have to be very careful. There's another thing with March. Is that there is permanent quicksand even if you are... Uh, if, even if when it's not rainy. Over here, this one has caught me. Uh, at least once. Right in this area. I don't know if the sun will show it here. Yeah, you can see it here. This is quicksand. You can see it start right here. Uh, so don't hug the wall, because you will just fall into that quicksand and get yourself killed. Now, there's a few other areas like it as well. You just got to make sure that you don't waste all your uh, stamina and then, like, walk into quicksand. Or, like, sprint into quicksand without knowing. Now, the, the most sneaky quicksand here is this one right here, which is really fucked up. In this valley over there, there's a quicksand on the, um, like, in the entrance of the pit, which means that if you fall into this pit, you're fucked because you can't walk out of it because there's quicksand on the only way through the valley. Maybe you can get around it, but I'm not exactly sure if that's possible, so that's pretty messed up. Um, so yeah, don't fall into that pit, basically. Unless you have a teleporter, you're gonna be stuck there. Um, I'm scared. Okay, this is fine. I didn't bring the shovel and there's another thing, right? Should probably just focus on... I'm gonna leave this here now. Honestly, uh, if we can get all three of these beehives, that is more than enough. So let's just focus on that. Although we do have to take the shovel and the... Wait, we have to get the data entry. The log, the log, the log. So let's walk past... Oh no, there's a giant. That's unfortunate. Wait, maybe we can scan them though. It's very far away. Didn't I leave it here? Oh, there's my shovel. Okay, this is bad. It's potentially very bad. He is right where we need to go as well. Um, spooky. We need the lore. Yeah, we're gonna get the lore. Don't you worry. It's just that the giant is very spooky. It's already 7 p.m. There's lore on that fire escape right there. Am I really gonna greed for the third beehive? <laughs> am I that insane? I think I am. I think I can't be stopped. Of course you are. I don't even know if I can grab both of these, to be honest. It's gonna be hard as shit. Right, drop that there, leave that there. So we're not gonna lose this no matter what. Grab the, um, the data log. Don't run out of stamina. If there's a worm, I'm not gonna go for the worm data log right now. It is this way, right? Yeah, there it is. On. Why'd you have to be here, sir? It's on top of there. You can see it. I just want this log, man. Get the log. Here we go. Journal entry goodbye? I feel like we shouldn't read this one yet until we find the others. Oh, God. All right. You know what? The plan of that other beehive, I think that might not be the best idea anymore. <laughs> okay, he's walking that way. Because there's a giant fucking right there. It had to be right there, huh? You dickhead. Dickhead. Is there another one? There's three. Take it. Drop it and take the other one. Let's go. I got both. All right. That's totally fine. I'll totally take two. Okay. So we got two beehives. That's fine. There was a dog and I had open mic. So I just wanted to fucking get out of there, man. I didn't get to scan the giant, but we know we're going to get a chance to scan the giant. That was not that much. Uh, it was like 400. How much do we have? Um, a thousand. That is totally fine. Oh, it's time for another message. Report to the company building immediately to sell your scrap metal and other goods. Let's go. You have two days left to meet the profit quota. You can use the terminal to meet the autopilot to the company building. The company building, which has a lot of secrets, by the way. And there's definitely going to be more at the company building. Uh, 71 Gord Gord Gordian. Population unknown. No land masses. Continual storms. Fauna unknown where the company resides. There is... 
Uh, already a secret underneath the company building here, which I, I'm, I'm hinting to now, but we're gonna wait until the logs mention it. I think the logs talk about this down the line. Is there a log on the company building? Yes, right? Wait, actually, no, we have to go there because there's a log down there, isn't there? I think so. Um, over here. You know what? I should actually, just in case, <laughs> just in case I fuck this up. I'm gonna sell quota just so that if I die, I don't like miss quota <laughs> and then fucking like fill the entire run. Because if I fall down and die, uh, I'm just gonna sell this. That's a little too much. It's for. Oh my god. Opens immediately. Uh, is there also anything we can buy just, just for funsies? Um, anything on the store? Oh, this is so chill now. Uh, we can buy a JPEG 40% off JPEG! Well, I feel like we should do that. <laughs> get a jetpack on your first quota, dude. We can get a goldfish. We can get a friend. Goldfish. What was that fucking voice, dude? Goldfish. Look at that. We got a, we got a friend. Jeremy, the goldfish. Uh, there was so much to buy. We can get shower, television. Can I buy? Just just fucking sell everything for funsies. We're just gonna sell everything and and like buy all the stuff we want. We're also gonna get a huge overtime bonus that way, which gives us additional money to buy fun things. Uh, we're we're not gonna go to rend yet. We're gonna go to vow as well as um like what was the other offense? Which I don't think I think offense is the only one that doesn't have a data and data entry. Um and. We still need to read the goodbye one, but I don't want to read the goodbye first because it's like September. Why are you opening that, sir? Wait, I want to hear your message. What are you going to say? Because there's rare messages where he says like a special voice line. Talk to me. Your work keeps the company happy. Your work keeps the company happy. I mean, there's several rare ones that maybe we'll find. Through, yeah, they're like 3% chance. But hey, you gotta go for them. Alright, sir. Oh, I should. I could have kept my apparatus, but you can't do the thing down there. There's something with apparatuses that's probably gonna be uh, available in the future. But not yet. Alright, give us the final line. We value your commitment. They value my commitment. You said like the same thing three times. Alright, well, anyway... That, was that V-Type engine only seven bucks, by the way? What did that say just now? Um, we got a lot of money. We got 900. What do we want to buy with this money? We want to buy... I don't know if we buy a jetpack. I'd rather have a fucking table. I want a table. Table for me. Let's go. Do we get chairs as well, or is this just, just a lone table? Make this place feel like home, right? Um, pajama suit. I would like to have... Um, Spray paint is pretty cool. Shower. Decoration time. Look at that. We can take a... We can be clean now. Where do we put this? We put this in the corner there. Boom. You can take a shower now. I'm clean. <laughs> Big shower, yeah. Uh, and then there was something else? Or I mean, I guess we can... You know what? Fucking sure. We'll buy a jetpack. <laughs> Let's buy two more pro flashlights just in case I die. Buy two more shovels, buy a spray paint, buy a boom box, and anything else we can buy with the final money here. Uh, we don't buy a television. We already got that. Uh, stun grenade, honestly. Can we get to three stuns? Let's get two stuns. Stuns are so good. Um, and we'll get this stuff. We're decked out. No, that's, a pretty <laughs> that's such a cheap jetpack, man. Now, the jetpack, what's very important with the jetpack is that you fire it up on the company building because there's a bug. I, let's see if it happens now. It does happen. There's a bug where if you use the, the jetpack for the first time, it just randomly does damage to you, which this is only on version 45 that this got added. Very annoying. It makes the, makes the jetpack an even less, like, uh, useful item. So, yeah, you got to make sure that you... That you fired up on the company building. Because damage here doesn't matter too much. Um, but it will matter when you're, like, on a mission. Especially because fall damage is extreme. It's extremely easy to get a ton of fall damage. 
when you are flying around with the jetpack, you gotta make sure that you fire it up here. We're gonna go down there, by the way. There's a secret down there that we still have to explore. But I wanna bring my stuff first. The zap gun is not useful in any way, especially single player. But even in multiplayer, it is a complete noob trap. I've been trapped by it. All right, we got three flash. Flashes are so good. Flashes are good, like, because they can wipe mines, they can stun giants, they're super light. They don't, they're super light, so you can just take them around everywhere. You'll just have a ton of them and just drop them. You don't have to worry too much about it. Send this up, just throwing these on the bottom. Why does it go on? Oh, it's that bug. All right, well, I guess I have to drop them here. There's like a bug where when you place them for some reason, the flashlights will go on. All right, we got a boom box. Can I place that on the table? Look at that. That's home right there. We got a shower. <laughs> we got a computer. We got a boom box. I wish I could turn it off while I was there. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I'm going to go down to the company building now. Um, or to the secret area. Which is this right here. Which everyone has already seen, of course. But we're, we are, this is a full lore playthrough, so we gotta go here as well. First, we're gonna grab this data entry down here. Sound behind the wall, September 4th. We can read this one. Then, uh, we're gonna check this out real quick. I'm a little scared here, because this is a spooky thing. We just jump here, right? Jump here. Jump here. Jump here. And then you can turn on a light over here by pulling this lever. Boom. And then this is obviously going to be something in the future. Don't tell. Uh, there's like, what does it say here? Battery. Proprietary. Do not repurpose. There's a cable that is cut right now that goes into here. And then, I don't know, something over here. And obviously some kind of, like, rail that lets it go over here where there's a big circle. Now, we've tried all kinds of things. We've bought, brought walkie-talkies over here and stuff. You can't put apparatuses in here. Obviously, this is going to be something in the future where you're putting an apparatus in there. Which also, by the way, you can jump on this thing. Little known fact, you can jump like that and then you're on top. I don't know why. You can just do that if you want <laughs> to have a jumping puzzle with your friends. All right, now I need to not fall down. So, yeah, there's nothing with that right now, but it's obviously going to be something later. Now we need to read this sound behind the walls thing. I know there's also something with screw. Yeah, it's, it kind of looks like a submarine, but I'm assuming it's like a bomb to fight the company or something. <laughs> I mean, if it's just two apparatuses, that's going to be too easy. Like, it kind of looks like a drill. Yeah, without the drill. Um... Okay, so let's read. Sigurd. Sound behind the wall. So let, that one is first. So let's read that one. Sound behind the wall. I got woken up early this morning because we were going to the company building to sell our useless garbage. The rate was 120%, which Desmond says is rare, and he didn't want to miss it. He's been watching it like the stupid stock. So this right here... I feel like has to be a mistake on the devs, or at least something that they forgot, because this is currently not in the game. You can get 120, but maybe I, I get to see it here when we load out. If you uh, are on your last day, like zero days left, and you leave the company building, and while you're looking at the moons, sometimes it updates and shows 120 until the quota resets, and then it goes back to like 33%. So. You cannot ever get this randomly. There's a mod, I think, that adds this as a really random chance to get 120%, which I think should just be base game. This should be base game. It's obviously going to mess up speed runs and, like, high quota runs, because if you get really lucky with this, you could just, like, have way less scrap but still be able to make it. So, yeah, maybe it's fine that it's not, it doesn't exist, but don't get baited by this. But anyway, it still sucks here. Rich still smells like a piece of shit. I can barely sleep. I heard the worst sound behind the wall of the company building. It sounded like crap red faces all churned up and swept away by the concrete like the pestle and bowl bowl my mo mom crushes up her seeds and spices in i still hear it it's a nightmare no one else here heard it they don't know what to do just thinks i'm homesick no i'm sick of this cheap suit date september 4th so they have somehow lived already quite long these people are damn cracked at the at the game dude um 
We can... Is the other... The other is, like, straight up just called goodbye, right? Yeah, let's wait with goodbye until we at least read the thing on, um... Let's, let's go to moons here, right? Until we at least read the other one from Vow, I think. Let's see. Is it gonna update? Buying at 100% 100, 100 here. When we leave, will it update to 120? I'm curious. Because I've seen it before. There's like a short window or so. I don't know if it's like a bug that they fixed already. Nah, it doesn't. It's, it, I've had it, someone pointed it out in my video a while ago, so it can show it sometimes, but you can never buy at that. Maybe you have to retype it or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, you can't actually get that as your random thing. So well, it already looks like home here, at least a little bit. Um, our next quota is super low. We have, uh, we have quite a bit of overtime. Wait, that means we can buy the, oh, there's new stuff to buy. Romantic table, already got a table. We can get another suit, hazard suit. We can be piss gang. Yellow gang. Let's go. We got a suit. Dance. Point. Dance. Nice. We got a new suit. This one is way better than the than the one uh, Sigurd has. Can we go to... Very important. We can go to Vow. All right, let's go. We're going to Vow because this is where we get... Uh, change my shirt. I am... The, oh, wait. Why? Why am I floating? What happened there? Oh, it's because I had the shortcut, remember? <laughs> The shortcut to move my camera. It's the same shortcut as I move the point. It's a dancing point. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay, I fixed it. No more no more floating. Um, we're on Vow now, which is a uh, 56 Vow. Abandoned, humid, rough terrain, teeming with plant life. A competitive ecosystem supports aggressive life forms. But before we do that, didn't we have uh, another bestiary? Yeah, we have circuit bees. Circuit bees. Uh, Sigurd's danger level 90%? Really? <laughs> Are you serious, Sigurd? You suck at this game. Uh, scientific name, Crabrocoroscus. The circuit bee, also known as red bee, is an eusocial flying insect of the genus Apis, a descendant of the honeybee. Their appearance is quite recognizable from their hairy red bodies and two sets of wings. Like their ancestors. Like their ancestors, they are well known for their intelligent social behavior, large colony size, building wa wax nests, which they use to store honey, and their important role in pollination. Unlike the honeybee, which often chose high places such as trees to construct its hive, red bees create their hives on the ground. Red bees are hot. Wait, what? Red bees are highly defensive. They will leave the nest to attack any creature that comes within several meters, leaving behind only the queen and drone bees. This bold behavior is enabled by their most defining ability, which is their electrostatic charge. Red bees produce friction with the air. They also produce friction by rubbing their two pairs of wings against each other and by rubbing against one another in while in the hive. What allows them to create such surplus of electric field compared to the honeybee is still under research as they generate a strong, stronger electric field when panicked or angered. This ability is especially useful for them around water. It is beast to keep your distance. If a red bee hive is stolen, red bee swarms will enter an, an onslaught in which they attack any living creature. This destructive behavior will last until they lo have located the hive or completely exhausted themselves, which can take hours to days. They have been known to leave behind fields of bodies of small rodents, insects, and even some larger mammals. And in rare cases, they can start fires. Their strong benefits and drawbacks to their ecosystems are highly debated. Be baited. <laughs> the indomitable Sigurd. God damn it, Sigurd, you pun master. All right. Uh, so, yeah. the This is not true, by the way. They will never exhaust themselves. As far as I know, I've never seen a bee actually calm down after being... Um, let go from the beehive but it does say it can take hours today so i don't think that's a thing so yeah those are bees now we have which apparently are danger level 90 somehow to this guy manticoils which is the birds manticoils sigurd's danger level zero percent scientific name quadrupus manta manticoils are passerin are a passerin bird of the family corvidae their bodies are quite large compared to their early descendants, and their wingspan ranges from 55 to 64 inches. Their most defining characteristic is their set of four wings. Their back wings are mostly used to stabilize at low speeds, while their front wings are or create the majority of the lift. Their round bodies are a striking yellow, but with black outlines or stripes along their primary rear feathers. Manticoils mostly feed on small insects, but can also feed on small rodents. 
They are highly intelligent and social. They pose little threat and have a generally passive temperament towards humans. Although they are capable of transmitting rabies, Rubin Chloria, and Pit Virus. Okay, so, I mean, they don't do anything. I don't think you can kill them either. Even if you're very fast with a shovel or a shotgun, I don't think they can be killed. So that is all the information we have collected. We still have a lot of indoor monsters to scan and figure out the uh, lore of. But that's fine. We're on Vow now, which is honestly one of my, like, favorite planets for the way it looks and the early game potency of this planet. Because when you first start a new round, the, the conditions, the starting conditions are always the same. Uh, the experimentation will always be weather free and Vow will always be weather free. Which means, and I think every other planet has something going on on it. Which means that Vow is a far better choice than going to uh, experimentation because experimentation has like no loot. Um, and on top of that, Vow also spawns way more beehives than experimentation does, which are incredible early game. There it is. I was looking for this guy. Uh, scream. Wait, this is later. Okay, never mind. I guess we will read goodbye then. But did someone die? Is that why it's goodbye? I didn't want to get spoiled for any future parts of the story. Um, also, by the way, lo love the skybox. You see this crane over there? <laughs> this is always weird. All right, I should check for bees as well, but we're just going to head in first. See if there's any loot. There's a red, there's a hairbrush worth absolutely nothing. Um, brass bell there with the hardest jump in the game. So this one is the, it, the only one you're allowed to fail is this one right here. This one is very hard because it's like angled and you can't easily jump up there. Uh, you have to like jump over here. It's very fucked, especially when you have high weight. This one I, I usually avoid. Uh, if I can because it's actually like genuinely very dangerous to do maybe I can avoid it Actually, can I just go around? I think I can uh, yeah, maybe does this all connect to the same place Does the tunnel network don't make me make this jump several times man that being oh I can wait I still need to make another jump though. Okay, but this one is a hundred million times easier So I'd rather make this one Wait, where does this lead? Wait, oh, I don't even have to make this jump. It's just a big circle. Okay, well, anyway. Um, so, yeah, the, avoid that jump as much as you can. Even, uh, no matter how good you are at the parkouring in this game, you will feel that one when you're, like, being chased by monsters or something. At least I will would. Um, more likely to fill that one than any of the other jumps. Any loot around here? Any brackens? It's kind of crazy how pat. I didn't realize how passive the monsters are. <laughs> like... It's kind of changed my perspective because we tend to go to dangerous planets so much which by the way there's a mechanic that i learned about yesterday when i was researching or yeah yesterday when i was researching researching some of the monster spawn behavior what's very interesting is that monsters will be more likely to spawn uh, so like you know how every quota is three days right so the first day the monsters are less likely to spawn than on the second day. On the second day, there's more monsters. On the third day, there's even more monsters. So the closer you get to your deadline of the quota, the more monsters will actually physically spawn, which I had no idea that was a mechanic until literally yesterday when I like looked it up, which is very interesting. Uh, this is the shitty jump. I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and fall. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting mechanic. Where'd you get that info? I got it from the wiki. I was looking at the data mined uh, code of the um, the monster spawn behavior, which I assume is correct. I mean, if we can't trust the fucking data miners, who can you trust? Like, people make up shit all the time. So if I see, like, literally lines of code that seems taken straight out of the, like, I don't know, the project files, like, that's that's the stuff I trust. Yeah, that's very interesting. And now also another thing that I learned, which is kind of a annoying thing, honestly, is that... Why can't I go anywhere? This is all just dead ends. Maybe this... Oh, this way. Um, is that m killing monsters doesn't have to be the best choice. Okay, U2. We need to open U2 here, potentially. We need to open... There was another... Something just come out of the vent. I think I'm gonna go fire escape. This shit is stinky as hell, man. This shit is not great. Uh, you're also being mighty spooky right now. Am I? Oh, God. I'm gonna have to... I keep making this jump. I said avoid the jump. And then I have to make it several times in a row. Uh, I'm gonna go fire escape. But first, before we do that, might as well quickly bring this stuff back. Which, apparently, I've been told this. 
you have to spam jump here or something. And then it won't break. Now, jumping takes stamina. Or something? Isn't this a thing? I mean, it's not breaking. I got 100 pounds on me. Okay, well, that was easy. Now, another thing I learned about the bridge is that it actually has a health bar. So it has like a health bar of durability and it will regenerate when you're not on it. So if you go one by one with very heavy weight and you spam jump, you will actually never ever break the bridge because if you wait, I think five seconds it is, it has a health bar of one and every 0 0.2 seconds, it will generate, uh, or every second it will generate 0 0.2 health back. So if you wait five seconds, it has its whole, um, whole health bar back and then it's like nothing ever happened to it which i didn't know that's how it worked i thought it was like as soon as someone has like me has stepped on it the next person that steps on it gets absolutely screwed and will immediately make the bridge collapse which is so it's it is weight based but it's mostly like player count based uh anyway we need to be careful of this whoopee cushion by the way it can whoopee cushions can kill uh is that a new creature I was hoping for a beehive, a sneaky beehive or something, but it's fine. Uh, we got all the loot, right? So it's just, uh, they're gonna be giants here soon. But, oh yeah, you too. But we're not, uh, I guess we should open it now. But we're not gonna go there anytime soon and probably ever, but I might as well do it uh, while I am close to the base. Because I, oh, thought I heard a giant. What is out here, by the way? Is there like an arch? Oh, there's just a rock. I thought there was like a cool structure here. We can fly around with jetpacks as well later and like explore some of the crazier parts of the planets. Um, but it's still early and I need to get fucking quota, dude. I need to be a great asset to the company or we're gonna get vented and then we'll never figure out the whole story. Shovel, we got our shovel over there uh, at the base. Did we get a new monster? We didn't get a new monster yet, right? There's still coil heads and jesters. You can't scan the ghost girl. You can't scan the masked people. Which is why I wish there was some lore about the masks. Now, this is pretty dangerous going to this late in the day can actually completely kill you. Because the giant can spawn in the valley here and then you will never be able to get out of the valley. So, I hope I find a stun grenade here or there's just no enemy in here. We'll see. Ooh, there's another hairbrush. Ah! Holy fuck, that actually scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? I didn't even get to scan him, bro. <laughs> that was terrifying. Why did he kill me? He should have walked away, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did he come from? Holy. All right. Well, uh, that's going to happen. At least we got the lo we got the log. Holy shit. <laughs> this game. I love that we didn't encounter. Okay, so by the way, we have a, a, a mod that makes us only lose 50% of the loot because I thought that would be fitting for solo. Otherwise, it's solo is so brutal already anyway. All right, we have a new lore, lore page that we actually have two new lore pages. Let's read goodbye first. Goodbye. Let's see. We left behind Rich. We just had one room to check and then we could be done for the day. I couldn't get the door to open and then I looked and Rich wasn't there. It was the fr- Wait, it was, it was lore base, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> it was a c cannon death right there. Excuse me? <laughs> and then I looked and Rich wasn't there. It was the fucking wrinkly skin flower head man. It was Bracken, dude. It's a cannon event that walks on two legs. It turned his neck. I heard that crack when he wasn't there. I wanted to find Rich even if he was dead, but they are cowards. Their faces are blank like idiots. There's nothing moving in their stupid skulls. All they want to do is leave. They were going to leave me too. We all hated Rich, but we... Wait, what? Sorry. Oh, I thought they was talking about the flower man, but they're talking about the other teammates. I see. Um, they were they were going to leave me too. We all hated Rich, but we didn't want this. This isn't worth it. It's just not worth it. We got a pair of scissors, scissors, a box full of stamps, and a bundle of cords to sell for nothing. It is not. It's not worth it. What does the company even want it for? The date we last saw Rich is September seventh, nineteen sixty eight. Rest in peace, Rich. All right, and the next one. Uh, screams. Uh, for some... So, September 13, which is almost a month after they started, right? 
Um, I was the one who had to call the company number to report the accident. They were too scared to do it. It was the same fake voice I remembered from the interview on the phone at home and the stupid training videos. But I, but it heard what I said, I think. Because it said they would contact the family and find a replacement and something else. It talked so fast. I learned you can hear their s the screams all the time in the walkie-talkie when you're at the wall of the company building. They didn't believe me. Well, now they do. It sounds like the... It sounds like when I heard it a couple of weeks ago, they want to quit. I said I'm not a coward. I just got this job. You got it a month ago. Dude, if you're already 30 days into this, you're at like... Well, you're not necessarily 30 days, but you're pretty close to 30. You are at some insanely high quotas. They're gonna keep squeezing you, dude. You gotta get out of here before it's too late. Uh, did we get the scan him? We didn't get the scan, the freaking bracken, goddammit. Alright, well, um... Where are we going? Uh, we need to go to offense still. Let's go to offense. Which, by the way, offense is a little trick that I have to still attempt. Uh, so let's try it. We have offense, abandoned conditions, jagged and weather terrain. Fauna, a competitive ecosystem, supports aggressive life forms. I'm going to go down. And then we can jump on the pipe here or something. You have to get on this. I could die here, by the way, which would be hilarious. Yeah, you have to go like this and then wait until boom. No! I missed it. Did I miss it? Yeah, I missed it. No, it was too early. Dude, I felt like I waited so long there. So that's still something I have to try. I never go to offense because this planet is absolutely horrendous. It is actually one of the worst planets in the game because um, there's no beehives. It, feels, it sucks that they didn't add beehives to this. Uh, I want to scan. It's like the only planet that doesn't have beehives, which just makes it completely worthless. 18 objects. Um, yeah, you can buy an extension ladder and get up the fire escape, which we can do. We should do now, I guess. So we don't have to do this later. Um, so we can still get to the fire escape. Jetpack? Yeah, I mean, we could do that, but I want to get the extension ladder anyway. Because it's something that's going to be useful. It's not the most useful thing. I want to scan some monsters, goddammit! I wish I could have at least gotten the Bracken lore page there <laughs> instead of immediately dying. If I'm correct, there is no... Um... There is no lore or uh, data chip on offense, right? I don't think so. As far as I know. This is... I, I looked on the wiki and I couldn't find it. I think there is. I, I looked on the wiki and it didn't say there was. So, I don't know. The most secretive lore? Oh, come on, you piece of crap. You piece of shit! Really? There we go. <laughs> you dickhead. Uh, I'm gonna leave this out here. And, uh, I'm probably gonna forget that extension ladder, so goodbye. Ooh, is that bait? There's a mine. I hear a mine. That seems like bait. There's oh, God! That's bait. It's freaking bait. Anything more? Well, maybe power. Nothing. I want to check this first. Plastic fish. I mean... Okay, I thought someone snuck up on me. Dude, that was the most goddamn scary bracken I've ever got in a while. The only way you can... I mean, you can die to bracken if you don't look behind you, of course. Uh, but they will kill you if you make, like, physical contact with them. They're like dogs, like... Right? Is this mine just somewhere floating? Can we get this shit? I could die here. Okay, how the fuck do I get, get out of here now? This is not the best idea. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I hide behind this pillar? What do I do? Hide behind here? Okay. Um, oh, there's a clown horn. Which is worth actually a lot. Holy shit. Can I not die, please? This is locked. I can go around. I just want like one additional. There's a key. I guess I could open the one door, but I'm not gonna. Yo, you come on, piece of shit. This game is scary, huh? When you die, you're. F that is exactly what happened, by the way, in pretty much my first experience with this game. Was me just walking around, picking up loot, and being like, where are the monsters? I haven't seen a single monster. And then I just got randomly neck snapped by a bracken. <laughs> Like, that was my first experience. Shit's scary, man. I should leave that here as a little trail. Uh, is this gonna be apparatus room? Usually when you have a little side area, it can be apparatus. 
Uh, I'm gonna get so lost here. Maybe this is... Oh, wait. We're back here. Oh, dude, this is just looped around. Alright, I guess I'll grab this then. We looped all the way around. Give me my present. I'm gonna try and take this shit past the turret. Don't know how I'm gonna do it. Hey, Jojo, what's up? We're doing a lore playthrough. We need to scan more monsters, though. But we're gonna find lots of monsters on, um... On Rend, Dine, and Titan anyway, right? We need to go to those planets still. Which is gonna be very scary. They're... I love all those planets. They're just very spooky. Okay, I'm gonna hide here. Okay, so it's pointing... Where is it pointing? It's pointing that way. I actually... This is uh, the stuff I have to go through without ship mom, dude. Goddamn turrets everywhere. Oh, ship mom emote. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Clown horn. Did I forget the clown horn? I have to go back. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Fuck. I could pick up the key as well. Although I don't know if I have enough slots for that anyway. I'm scared. Don't kill me. I come in peace. Okay, nice. We gotta bring this out. There's gotta be monsters. This is Bracken is so scary solo. Because there's no like teammates to warn you of a Bracken existing. So before you know it, you could be dead. Is there anything up here? Oh, it's a big room. That's the Bracken kill zone, dude. Uh, the thing that you need to keep in mind, though, in Solo, is that you can look at Brackens forever. They will not kill you because you, like... Oh, God. Going in there is so so scuffed, man. Oh, there's a key. Stop. Wherever you are. There's fucking nothing here. Annoying. Ooh, a present. Another one. I can just take some stuff out here. It'll be totally nice. There's another mine. There's a back room. But n that's not related to the Bracken, by the way. Often misunderstood by people. This is just the room. Oh, good. Should probably go back soon, huh? I'm gonna get, like, a random gesture and not know my way out. Is there Oh, jeez! A new enemy! Let me scan. Fuck off, sir! Yay, we got him! Okay, now we gotta be careful. Because this shit is annoying. We can't- we wanna- I wanna go there, because that's gonna be the apparatus room, dude. But I can't go past this damn turret. I wish I could. I can't. It's fine. Oh, magnifying glass worth 52. Don't mind if I do. I think we should take this back. I think it's time for us to get the hell out of here. And we got a new monster anyway, which is good. If we can get a monster per planet here, we're gonna be through them soon. We need to get forest giants as well. Or... Oh, no. Oh, no. I could easily die here. They're slow. They're slow at the start. Run! Scan him! Run! I'm gonna leave. Goodbye! I could fight him, but there's really no reason to do so, because I am, like, risking... There's nothing there that I want to see anymore anyway. Okay, so another thing you can do uh, on this planet... I, I can see why people like the environment of offense, so that's another monster. Uh, because you can... This thing is pretty cool, that you can walk on this pipe here, and then go all the way to the ship and drop stuff down um without ever having to touch the ground which is really nice for avoiding giants worms uh dogs of course which is exactly what we're gonna do here there's that will be the place there will be a lore page how is there no lore page on this map so strange boom i'm gonna drop my flashlight as well oh god there's no lore page up here right just check in yeah, this would totally be, like, where I expected it. Maybe they need to add more. I mean, to be fair, it's fine, in my opinion, that the developer of this game obviously didn't expect it to go viral and be one of the most downloaded or most played games of 2023, especially when he released it in, like, October. Um, 
So I'm fine with him focusing more on gameplay and like new monsters. I think the next update is gonna have new environments. At least that's what he said he was gonna vote or uh, he was gonna focus on, which is very exciting. I can take, oh, come on. I guess I'll leave a key, it's fine. So we're potentially gonna have new interior and potentially exterior, which might also include the loggers on this thing. Yeah, we need to take the ladder, I know. The log is here? Are you sure there's a log? The wiki didn't say there was one, so if... I mean, maybe chat is better than the wiki, but I don't trust it. Look how, how downsized this thing is, by the way. <laughs> I love how they just uh, shrunk down. Or is this a completely different texture? I don't know. Looks like the same texture, but just shrunk down massively. Yeah, I don't think so. It's already getting very late, man. As long as we bring this stuff into the ship, it's fine. And we could take the extension ladder, but I don't worry too much. Because we're going to need one on Titan in the future. We don't necessarily need one. Because we're not going back to offense. We're going to probably go to Marge. I wouldn't even mind going back to experimentation, honestly. I mean, I guess experimentation has few monsters. Experimentation has a lot of brackens, though. I guess I could just fall down with this. Am I gonna take fall damage? I will not take fall damage. I am going 7 p.m. already. Dude, time flies when you're trying to please the company. It's a tattered metal sheet, you dickhead! Found a log on experimentation? Yeah, there's two. There's two logs on experimentation. I think we have all the logs on the free planets. Open that. Rubik's cube actually worth something. Okay, um, let's scan how much there is. You could go recover the... Okay, there's 11 objects. You know what? You guys win. I'll go get... It's 8 p.m. This is stupid as fuck. But I'm go gonna go get the extension ladder and still go main real quick. Um, just to see if there's anything there. And then that gives another opportunity for monsters to spawn. So we could potentially scan them. I could still get quota even if I die here. I, I get the key as well. Dude, you guys are greedy as shit. All right, I'll get the key too. God damn it. Why are you so obsessed with this key, bro? Oh, no. No! Why are you not letting me jump this? I hate this, sir. Why? I did this before. Oh my god. Fuck this key. Fuck the key. Go get your own key. It's already late. <laughs> this is, I got a key on the ship. I don't need another one. I can get a log figure. <laughs> this is... What am I doing? Right, I'm gonna take the shortcut. Wee. Like, I, I can see people liking this map for just the... The, the fun, like, jumping stuff. It's pretty neat. It's not a very good map, but that doesn't have to stop you from liking it. Okay, I need to be, like, back instantly. So I can check, like, one room, see if there's anything here, and then leave immediately. Ah, shit. Well, then. That would have been fun. <laughs> what a nice turret, dude. What a good map, huh? Vow, such a fun map. Oh, you fucking shit! Or not Vow, uh, offense. What a fun. I mean, I guess it's called offense for a reason. Fucking turret hell. I'm out of here, bitch. Okay, I'm taking this with me. I'm going back. I got a bottle. That's fine. Is there any. Um. I didn't even know, uh, offense spawned that many turrets. That's ridiculous. Is there no enemies outside? I learned another thing, by the way, which made me finally understand how much bullshit I've been going through. Uh, there is a... I need to research it a little more, but basically, when it reaches, like, past... Oh, God. Your dog? I'm gonna explain this when we're in orbit. Is there any monster? Is there, like, a worm? Wait, there's a worm! Okay, I'm gonna do stupid mode. Is there a worm here? Worm! 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 Worm? I wanna go scan the worm. I want to scan the worm. Any worms? Where'd the worm go, dude? I want to miss the ship. 
Where's the worm? It's like behind. Hello? Worm? This fucking worm, dude. I gotta go. I just want a worm! Come on. It's gonna leave. The ship's gonna leave. It's too dark. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go, man. I would've loved to, to get a worm, but... Or, like, try and scan it, but I just can't find it. Um, so basically... When... There's, like, so many mechanics that I had no idea were in the game. Basically, if you are heavily above quota, like, if you have more money on the ship, then you, uh, need to get quota, or you've already collected about 60% of the scrap on a moon, there is a, basically, forced spawn of a monster outside after, like, 11 or 12 p.m., which means... That explains why so often when I would go to Titan on my solo runs, I would have giants spawn at like super early and be insanely annoying because if you're doing very well, the game will actively spawn more monsters outside to try and kill you, which is very interesting. I had no idea that was a thing. A very interesting mechanic. All right, well, we're going to March here. We could go to Vow. Um... But march for beehives and more loot. It's only 400. I'm not that much over quota. I did better on the first one. I mean, to be fair, I did also kind of die, you know? Wait, we had lore. Oh, we'll read the lore after this round. Um, forgot about the lore. I'm not gonna read lore now, because then we're gonna lose time. Valuable time. We need slime. We need to collect more monsters anyway. Um, let's see. How much? 18? And there's bees. Let's see. So this beehive is close to the base, right? There it is. Um, how much is it worth? Because if this one is worth very little... That is bullshit! Someone just made that shit up. Someone just made that up and said it as if it was fact. Which, what else is new? Someone was like, it's based on the distance to the ship, how much value each thing is worth. This fun is fucking right next to the ship and it's worth 120, bro. You lied out of your ass. Alright, it's fine though. Um, so we have a beehive. Is there another one? I should take a shovel as well to potentially kill a thumper, just for funsies. And uh, I'm gonna go quota after this anyway, so we're gonna get some additional mo uh, money. Yeah, we gotta scan them all. We need to get a worm. I mean, we're gonna have a chance to get a worm. Like, once we go to rend or dine, it's gonna be easier to scan a worm because we can die <laughs> and still make quota in, like, one single day if we just try really hard, which is fine. Uh, I don't see any other. Where's the baboon hawks? Aren't there baboon hawks on this map? No oh, bees, huh? Yeah, blob lore. I'm not gonna read that right now because it would just waste our time. But once we're in orbit, we need to remember. It's. I think the. Ooh, there's two things. I think the lore always spawns in the same spot. Yes. I'll check this side first. March is so large, man. You can get such a mass. Like, it's it's the largest map next to Titan, which is kind of wild. It's like a free map. I mean, it's because of all the fire escapes, which makes it even more annoying when the fire escapes spawn really close together. What I really like about March is that if you get, like, hor horribly lost on this map, there's a decent chance that if you just keep going deeper into the facility, you will randomly stumble upon a uh, fire escape eventually. Which just makes getting out way more likely for, like, new players. It's, like, pretty much the only... What? Two clown horns? Because, yeah, like, you can do that on other maps, but since there's only... It's literally the... Is it literally the only map with more than one fire escape? What other map has more than one? None, right? I think it is. Is that it? There's a bolt there. This sucks, dude. Why you gotta give me this jump again? Okay. I'm gonna die to gravity now. Oh, come on, you dickhead. Yeah, March is the only one. That's interesting. Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna die to snare flea. Oh, no, I can't die to snare flea. I keep forgetting. Oh boy, are you serious? I should probably not go this way. I'm gonna just take the loot back. Sound like a bracken. I didn't see or hear a bracken. Man, I wish we could have scanned it there. 
That Bracken jump scared the hell out of me. The damn flower man. All right, I'm gonna take this back over the jump and then go to another. Oh god, I hate it this way. Okay, and then. Woo! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How do I go back again? Uh, not through here. That's for sure. Up here. Oh, I checked the s server room. Did I went through the server room? Did I check this extra? I think I went through. I need to go through the server room. Hey, bro. Yeah, can we get a bracken again? I want. Oh yeah, here it is. I wanna. I wanna scan one. Gotta need that spray paint. I found my way back. We're gonna try the spray paint on the, um, on the mansion map. So if you've been like, why did he buy a spray paint? You'll you'll understand when we go to those maps. Cause there, I will often get lost. But with, okay, this is just all dead ends. I think I'm gonna. Sorry for key lovers once again. I'm going to leave that behind for now. I mean, maybe we'll come back here later for the shovel. We're gonna have so much money we might not have to. Although, I would love to have enough money to go to Rend as well as Dying back to back. Because it's very expensive to route between those planets. Which is kind of like an... It's one of the only parts of the game that I think is... Like, the game has some of the most interesting and well thought out monsters and mechanics I've ever seen in any video game. I think the only thing that doesn't really feel norm like feel well thought out is the fact that if you go to like a planet like Rendine or Titan, which are by far the biggest loot planets, right? So you want to go there. It costs so much money to the point that you just want to stay on that same planet for the remaining the entire quota basically. Which just re to a, leads to a lot of repetition, where you just go to the same map over and over again, because it is just the most, like, econ economically sensible thing to do. Which, uh, I know they tried... Like, Titan got fucked up in the last update. They made the mansion spawn way more likely on Titan in the last update. Which I think was a good idea, because mansion... Or, like, people used to go to Titan way too much, but then they also added turrets to Titan, which has made people basically stop going to Titan in general, because it's just too fucking annoying. It's too big. The Oh, there's a beehive there. The map is too damn big, and the turrets are extremely oppressive. Um, let's see this. The heat mechanic? I don't think a heat mechanic is a good idea. They need to, like... What I don't want to see in this game is that the quotas we reach now are going to be completely impossible in the future. Like, it, it, it's kind of frustrating that Titan used to be the best map by far, and now it's, like, completely unplayable. Like, I'd rather see them buff things than nerf things. Like, I'd rather... I'd rather, like, a year from now, the quotas we can get to are even more insane than the opposite, where the quotas we can reach right now are gonna be completely impossible to get in the future because they're gonna add, like, all kinds of insane mechanics that are gonna make the game way, 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 way harder. Um, I don't know. I'd rather have it the other way around. This is amazing, by the way, if we can get both of these. Then we have two 120 beehives. And we still haven't checked all the fire escapes, but it's fine. Yeah, there will hopefully be new maps as well. New maps past Titan or something. Or just, like... Like, what if they have a really expensive... Oh, God. What if they have a really... I don't know why I missed that. A really expensive, like, permanent ticket. Like, what if for... I don't know. Like, 2,000, you could buy a permanent ticket to rent. For 3,000, permanent ticket to dine. Or 4,000. I mean, I guess that would still not work. Because for high quota runs, you would still... What the fuck is going on, brother? I was spamming in, it just didn't pick up. I'm gonna have to leave with this shit. I'm gonna take it up the mountain this time. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. Um, this is scary. Ah! Don't touch me. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. There's another one! There's too many fucking beehives. I can't take these all, dude. I can only take like two of these. So unlike, unless, unless I try the bee strap, but I think I'm not gonna do that. Like, go to the building. Too many fucking bees. Like, uh, I don't know. It's it's still gonna have the same problem, right? I just, it's like one of the only issues with the game. Like, the game is like borderline a perfect horror game. Especially with the existence of mods, making it really easy 
or people to fix minor things such as the fact that you can't turn off your turn on and off your flashlight with f is like such an insane oversight like i know there's the but it's risk reward andies that are always in every youtube comment whatever if you want to suffer because you have a stick up your ass and you want to not be able to turn off your flashlight with f more power to you it doesn't matter to me uh we got a hoarding bug we got a yippee baby um is this his stuff but like i am very happy that we can do that that we can don't you're not this is mine that we can just fix a few of those things that in my opinion are oversights and make the game much more enjoyable to experience like all the friction stuff goes away i don't want to talk to you oh there's a thumper fuck i wish i had a shovel Yippee, can you fight that guy for me? All right, this uh, this thing sucks. What did I say, by the way, about fire, like the fire escapes? That, we already reached that from the main entrance, but the fire escape is right there. Uh, well, 4,000 for an engine upgrade that lets you go to all planets. Honestly, that would make, did I forget the fire, whoops. Uh, that would make the end, the, the end game so fun. If you could like, cause that's kind of what we did anyway though, right? We kind of routed between every single planet like already when we did our 8k run the 8k run was such a fucking journey dude it was amazing oh there's a baboon hawk another uh, monster let's go wait wait i gotta scan you we still need to scan forest giants still need to scan brackens wait come here sir i need to scan you hello sir come here hey you piece of crap come here come here sir don't walk away. Come back. Where are you going? Scan. Come on, sir. Sir. Hello. Can I scan you? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. You can do whatever you want. Leave me alone. They got such cool AI where they're like, you have to intimidate them. Okay. Um, our shovel is gone, but the shovel is like we already got a shovel here. Although, if there's a giant outside, can they come into the ship? I don't think I've ever seen that. I think I'm gonna just wait a little bit. Well, I guess we might as well take the shovel then if we're gonna wait. Um, I'm very low HP, so if he decides to kill me, I'm just dead. But he doesn't know that. Um, I hope there's giant. March always has giants, dude. How can there not be giants when I need giants? We need the scan. They can touch you. They can go in there. They can jump and hit you inside. I've never seen a a baboon hawk go inside i've seen a baboon hawk steal my fucking gold bar from the main entrance i will never forget that piece of shit that's still like one of the most unique that's probably still that might actually be the single rarest thing that's ever happened in my game because you almost never see a baboon hawk steal items and getting a gold bar is extremely rare. So having both of those things happen in a single run is so rare. And I'll never forget it. That fucking guy. We actually had a uh, gold bar coming from a present uh, a few days ago. Psycho got a gold bar from a present. It was worth 206, I think. It was over 200 value. It was insane. Uh, Alright, we got the key, guys. You happy now? Uh, I'm going to... I guess there's no giants, which... Unfortunately. Right? Giants? How is there only one baboon hawk? Am I, like, not far enough over quota? Let's just call this one. We got so much to read. We got so many bestiaries. Let's read them now. I also want to drink some water. Mmm! I forgot the bees. Whoops. I want to drink some water, man. I got one. Whoops. It's fine. I forgot the bees. I almost spilled my entire water bottle over my desk. How much was it worth? It was worth like 120. Right? It's fine. All right. Let's uh, let's read some lore. Uh, Beastier. We have four new lore pages. Okay. Start with the simple one. The high grow. Deer, Hygro Deers? What a weird name. Hygro Deer. Secrets danger level zero if you're faster than a snail. Scientific name Hygro Deer, a eukaryotic organism classified with the paraphyletic group Postida. Whatever that means. 
With the incredible speed of reproduction, these small organisms can multiply to millions. Hygrodeer rarely split apart, instead choosing to form large, vicious masses, which can take up large amounts of space and become a danger to deal with, requiring large tools or lures to relocate. Hygrodeers are drawn to heat and oxygen and can detect it from seemingly anywhere. There's almost nothing organic they can't convert to their own body mass. Nothing has been found to poison them, constantly replacing themselves. They can persist for hundreds of thousands of years. If you ever find yourself cornered, find a tall object to stand on top of. Hygrodeers have trouble climbing. They have great taste. Wait, they have great taste. Because I made a friend with one somehow, and we think it was my music, so they actually... <laughs> they actually... Wait, you know what? We kind of should... We should do that. I've never done that. I've never used a boombox against this blob. If we find a blob in... A future run in one of the next runs we have to try the boombox thing uh bestiary uh let's see thumpers 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 sigurd's danger level 90 percent scientific name pistris pistris sivas halves or thumpers are highly aggressive carnivorous species of the order chondric chondric uh their skeletons are cart cartilage cartilagin cartilaginous giving their bodies a stretchy and rubbery quality. Their name comes from the fact that they must eat their bottom legs in order to escape the shell of their hatched eggs. Their bottom legs are hardly functional to begin with. Their arms or front legs are very strong and they occasionally use them to stomp prey. They can reach great speeds in a straight line. What the hell? <laughs> That's so fucked up. I love the lore of these monsters, dude. They are relentless hunters, typically at the top of their food chain. Their main weaknesses are their intelligence and complete lack of hearing. If you come across a thumper, your best means of survival are leaving its line of sight as it is slower around corners and can, can't easily track prey. Due to the vast and volatile evolution of the species, some theorize that thumpers are one of the examples of an increased number of mutations causing higher levels of speciation in planets around the Thistle Nebula. Yeah, they... They can't hear. They can't hear. Did I say that wrong? Uh, they, they cannot hear very well. They can only see. Uh, hoarding bugs. Yippies, as they're called. Secret stage level 0%. Scientific name, Yippius Crutno. Uh, Linipathema crassus. Hoarding bugs of the order Hymenoptera are large social insects. While often found living alone, they have been found to share their nests with members of their own species. They measure a height of three feet on average with bulbous bodies. The thinnest, the thinnest of their fluid and blood and the material of their carapaces contributes to their low weight, making them capable of flight with their members wing, membranous wings. It also makes their body somewhat transparent. Interesting. Hoarding bugs were given their name due to their territorial nature. Once they have chosen a place as their nest, they will seek to adorn it with objects they can find and will protect these objects as part of the nest. Hoarding bugs are not so dangerous alone as they are in large hives. However, if left alone, hoarding bugs are surprisingly neutral and pose little danger. We love the stupid, stupid cuddle bugs. This has been a note from the indomitable Sigurd. <laughs> The yippies. All right, bestiary, we got another one, right? Baboon hawks. Baboon hawks. Sigurd's danger level 75. Are you losing your mind? Yeah, the typos really sell it. Uh, scientific name, Papio Volturius. Baboon hawks are a primate of the family Carcepithecidae. They are hunchbacks, hunchbacked, but can stand up to eight to an eight feet on average. I thought they had eight feet. I was like, what? That's too many feet. Uh, up to eight feet on average, their heads are bony with bird-like beaks and long horns, which they use like skewers to gore and feed on prey. Which, by the way, if you've ever seen a baboon hawk kill someone, it literally like impales them on its like nose. It's terrifying. Um, their horns are made of keratin instead of bone like the rest of their skulls, and they do not contain nerves or blood vessels. As a result, baboon hawks can often break their horns from the force they apply then fully regrow them within the same season. Baboon hawks partly owe their name to their large wings, which could never carry their large body mass and are used instead for intimidation and protection from the elements. The largest baboon hawk troop ever observed was made up of 18 baboon hawks. They are loosely territorial and much of their behavior 
is motivated by intimidation and display. They can become collectors using any flashy or colorful object to mark their territory. As lone scouts, baboon hawks are generally timid and won't attack unless provoked. In greater numbers, they can become a great danger. Sticking close to others and making yourself seem dangerous are the best ways to prevent an attack. They prefer smaller mammals, but when desperate, they are known to use their numbers to attack animals at even twice their size, such as eyeless dogs. They took my pickles! They took my gold bar! <laughs> it's me, dude. <laughs> So yeah, they can steal items and bring them to their nest and then they will actually start chilling there It's really cool to see they will like Pick up an item they will drop it and then they will like lay on the floor just like sleeping or something Unless until you like go to their nest and try to steal the item back then they will attack you and in order to So the intimidation mechanic is super cool. You have to like uh, walk up to them like try and threaten them Maybe swing your shovel uh, yell at them. That's why we always go wah, 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 wah. We, we try to like yell at them because that actually intimidates them Which is super cool that that's actually how that works uh, such a cool such a cool monster I think that was everything, right? That was everything. Okay, so we just still monsters to collect. We have enough to go to rent, which is awesome. Uh, it is our last day, so let's go to the company building. Uh, we don't have any more cigarettes, right? Yeah, no more cigarette. But we're gonna find one on rent. I know that one. The one on rent is actually super mysterious. I only saw it for the first time, like, on the 8K run, I think. On the 8K run, I found the lore page. Um... We're just gonna sell... We're gonna sell everything. Is there anything on sale in the store that we want? Let's see. Uh, spray paint is off. Jetpack is still off. Uh, goldfish pajama suit. Hazard suit we already have. Romantic table. We already have a table. We could get the romantic table. We already have a boom box. Uh, we could get some spray paint. Um, I guess we could get a little bit of spray paint. But let's just get enough to go to rend. And then keep the rest. Your work keeps the company happy. Our work keeps the company happy. Okay, so that's enough to go to Rand, because Rand is only 550. And I apparently... Oh, the shovels were on a massive sale. We'll get 10 shovels. Well, not 10. That's a bit too much, but like 4. And then... Is there anything else? Spray paint. Let's get like... 4 spray paint as well. And then we'll sell like a little more. Just to make make uh get enough for rent we needed like how much is this that's enough open the thing open a door you just gotta keep ringing until we already got a boombox we already have a boombox yeah we have explored the company moon uh, I'm just grabbing this i don't have enough inventory for this stuff man we're also gonna by the way uh fly up to the company building with uh with jetpacks and stuff. And what I wish they would... Like, I wish you could actually use a walkie-talkie to hold it against a wall and get the screamed. But we tried that many times and it never did anything. Which is a shame because that's such a cool, like, lore. That'd be so terrifying. <laughs> yeah, the music is very nice. Right, there's only this left. So we're gonna actually use spray paint on Rend as a... Um, a way to find or to help us find a way back and we might even be able to find fight a nutcracker well definitely we can find one i don't know if we're going to be able to kill one we'll see all right this is not well this is not enough actually we don't have enough flashlights well we have two flashlights we only need one flashlight because as long as we have three we can't die three times in a row and still be alive right so um three times is the max we can die so let's quickly grab this. All right, there we go. Three. Uh, we're going to get out. We have enough, right? Yeah, we have enough. We have quota. More than quota. We're going to get overtime as well. Do, 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 do. Pretty sure this song is from Upturned, which is Zeker's, one of Zeker's other games. Why is it in the table? <laughs> The dance in Lethal Company so is Is there any dance lore? So we have enough to go to... Oh, please tell me it's clear, but... Oh, come on, man! I really want to go to Rend. <laughs> I think I go to Rend regardless, even though it's Eclipse. Get ready to die, gamers. <laughs> get ready to pair. I'm going to turn this shit off immediately. Okay, so we're never going to get out of here again, but we'll go in. <laughs> 
I do I have a stun grenade? I do have a stun grenade. We could try and fight a... Uh, this is going to be terrifying. We're going to have to be quiet. Because remember, we are open mics right now. So we're going to take the way to the fire escape, which is over here. And then we follow. Just, just go right. Dogs? No, nothing? Get ready to fill the beast here, yeah. So for the fire escape, which I thought originally was like impossible to get back from reliably, there's actually two really easy setups uh, to get back from the fire escape, and I'll show you those here. So you basically just freaking run up that mountain and you just slide down all the way to here, and then boom, there's the fire escape. It's very weird, and you would never do that if you didn't know that that's how it worked, but it is how it works. Uh, I'm looking for tur- Oh, there's a kitchen right here! Which is sick. Kitchen gonna have loot? Oh, baby! That's loot heaven! Wait, we're just gonna get out of here and meet- What the fuck?! Okay, well, we have more than enough loot. This is already worth it. This is worth every penny. Wait, there's three lamps?! What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? There's too many lambs, bro. I can't take these all back. Um, I should also explain the spray paint. That's ridiculous. It's gonna take forever to bring this back. Especially considering it's eclipsed. Um, so the way you use spray paint, obviously you charge it. And then you... I put a little dot above a door. If it's like the way back to the entrance because you it's really annoying you can't really draw on the ground very well so any like fancy plan you have to like mark your way back is not gonna work you got to do very simple dots um and if there's something like that is a dead end so in this case this is a dead end i will put a mark at the side of the door either side or both sides which will mark it as a dead end so i know not to go back that way um Uh, I should probably bring this out before it's too late. There's a nutcracker there. I didn't- I don't think there's many mines on this planet. Oh, this is actually quite unfortunate that we- I mean, not- it, It's like- It's good that we have this much loot, but it's almost unfortunate because there's just too much loot. We can't bring it all back. Yeah, we can scan the nutcracker. They fixed the- the thing for that, right? Does it used to be broken? So we need to go up the stairs. He might be on the other. No, I can't scan your ass. You're only annoying. Fuck. Wait, there's a mine here. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, come on, dude. What is this? Oh, here, maybe. There's so many enemies! Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here and just take this as a win. I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta get out. Get out of here. Okay, hello. Well, we got a lot of, even if we die, we got a lot of new lore. Okay, so Jester's are amazing. Uh, I'm gonna have to mute this guy. Mute it, thank you. Muted already. Pick this up. Okay. So we're gonna... Actually, I think I'm leaving this for now to just go slightly faster. So the way you get back from here is very tricky. Well, not... I mean, not really if you know the setup, but if you don't, it's fucked up. Uh, oh, it's super dark, though. Maybe I should have not dropped my flashlight, but whatever. You basically walk up to the side here, and then you follow this ledge. You follow the... Oh, I should not have dropped my flashlight. I'm an idiot. Um... You follow the ledge along the right side, which is very hard if you don't have a working flashlight. So I would highly recommend either going back early or having a working flashlight. You just follow it, make sure you don't fall off. Um, there's a few spots where you can fall off. Now, at any point, if you fall off here, you're just gonna be back at the fire escape, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but if you just follow it all the way, eventually the cliff edge will turn into a mountain, uh, which is gonna be right here, I think. Oh, oh this rocks. I thought I heard dogs. So then you just follow the mount. This is, I should have my flashlight. I'm gonna have my flashlight on the way back. I can show you better. Then you follow the mountain along the right side here. 
and then if you just like curve around the mountain, you reach right up to the ship. Boom, there's the ship. Um, Lazy, thank you for the $50 donation. Thank you so much. Greetings, much love from California. Thank you so much, Lazy Vader. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna be careful. No monsters? I'm scared. Okay, mask. I'm gonna go back there, obviously. So you just go from here. I'm gonna potentially die to the ghost girl, but it's, it is what it is. I just want to bring back some more loot. Like, we got so much. I can't bring back all the... You can't scan the girl, sadly. I wish you could. I would. I wonder what Sigurd would have to say about that. Okay. Uh, which one of these is most expensive? 106. Okay, grab this. Boom. 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 I guess we leave the shovel. Goodbye, shovel. It was fun having you. So, it's... I wish I could scan you, but I can't because it's too dangerous. So basically, it's so annoying we have lamps. You just go up to the side. You follow the right cliff edge here. You just keep walking along it. Make sure you don't get uh, clipped and fall into it. Just follow. Just look at it and follow. There can be floating trees as well, which is weird. Until it turns into a mountain. Which is right over here. Wait, there's a fucking rocks that are usually not there. And then it turns into a mountain. You follow the mountain around the side. And then you're at the ship. It's super easy. It's a little annoying when you have a lamp. But not that big of a deal. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to grab the notebook there. I guess we are going back. Whoops, I forgot the lore page, dude. <laughs> well, that's the whole reason we're here. So I guess we are going to get the other lamp. Cause it's down there, right? Isn't it? I think it is. Like on the ground there. I just didn't pick it up. I wish we could kill one of the nutcrackers, man. Right, boom. 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 Charge flashlight. I keep a stun grenade just in case we run into the giant. Because you will... Oh god, I'm gonna die for the ghost. You know what? We're coming back here anyway, right? Shall we just scan the... Can we scan the jump? I'm gonna... I'm gonna die to the ghost girl, bro! Where's the giant? Giant! Giant man! Oh, here he comes! Yes! Come here, bitch! I wanna scan your ass. Come this way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm leaving. Uh, we're coming back here in a moment. We're leaving some stuff. It's fine. <laughs> uh, the ghost girl is just making this very annoying. Okay, we already got 600. That was a pretty good round. And we have so much lore to read, dude. <laughs> so many lore. So much lore. And we, we need to go back for the golden planet lore. Um, Alright. How much was that? There was so much on that planet. It was a really good spawn. Unless I just got all the... I got 500 there. Bestiary. Uh, the chaos, thank you for the donation. Fatal Frame? Yeah, I've been I've been wanting to play Fatal Frame for a long time. Heard about the them being very good. Nutcrackers first. Let's read Nutcrackers. Uh, very little lore. Uh, the guardians of the house, they watch with one tireless eye, which only senses movement. It remembers the last creature it noticed, whether they are moving or not. This feels a little rushed compared to all the other lore, where it's like a whole well-written lore here. It's just like pure information and not really anything else so yeah i feel like they need to flesh this out a little bit more but this is obviously like the newest enemy added added also no sigurd's danger level yeah i guess because these are new right they are not sigurd never encountered one of these or something yeah probably rushed because of the christmas event right um anyway bcr so those are nutcrackers which it does give information like it has an eye and the eye is the only thing that will like, sense the move. Like, if you're moving while the eye is scanning, that's when it attacks you. All right, Jesters. Here we go. Um, Jester. Also very short. Sigurd's danger level 90%. Get out of there before it goes ape. You can't hide from it. Just evacuate. 
Scientific name, Insanius Thingus. There's no freaking scientific record. Good luck. You know as much as us. We just call it the Jester. <laughs> so good. So yeah, the Jester, pretty damn insane and terrifying. <laughs> I love the Jester, man. They're so... I mean, they're very aesthetically cool. Whenever you're doing a tryhard run and you see a Jester, it's like one of the worst things ever. Same with Coil Huts. Coil Huts and Jesters are like the uh, try harder, try hard players' worst nightmare. Uh, Forest Keeper, Sigurd's Danger level 50%. Scientific name, Satirid Proceritas. Believed to share a common ancestor with Rapex Folium. They, these behemoths are called forest keepers for the biomes they often inhabit. Their bodies bear markings on their front and back which mimic eyes. This trait is more helpful in their youth as they are not agile. Their skin is a unique dense material which hardens further throughout their lives. Their large spikes and bumps across their bodies form as a result of aging. It's been said that forest keepers exhibit a curious behavior similar to that of a human child the age of five or six. They will eat anything they find fascinating. Forest keepers don't actually need to put anything into their mouths, and it's theorized their, ma they, their main source, source of energy is a process similar to pho pho photosynthesis. Still, this makes them relatively dangerous to observe. They can... See across long distances, so staying low and making use of cover is a must. They cannot enter small spaces and are not generally destructive, so stay close to shelter or overhang. So yeah, very. I love the lore about this one. What I wish is that they would lean more into that aspect, because for its giants, like you can stun them, which is relatively easy, but if you are out in the open and you don't have a stun or a really skilled ship person that can... Like if you have uh, a ship person that like will scan people's cameras and when they're shaking, they will teleport them. So if you have like a little rule on teleporting, for us, the rule is shaking when we're playing with our pro team. When, when we shake our camera back and forth, that means the person wants to be teleported. So specifically, Jojo is usually the person at the terminal. If Jojo is switching through cams and she sees someone shaking, she will click the teleport button to get them out of there. Um, but it's really hard to do because you're looking at like many different people. So seeing someone flip their camera, it's just hard to spot in time, especially because when they're already grabbed, it's already like you need to teleport as soon as the grab starts or before or it's too late for the to teleport to go through because it takes a while um so what i wish they would do with the giant is give it a because the lore right is that they're distracted by objects or like by things that they find curious what if you could drop a big item and then the giant will rush towards the big item and eat that instead of eating you. I think that would be a really fun counter. You give up a loot, but you stay safe. Like, I think that's a, a pretty fair trade-off. Honestly, would, would not be op overpowered in any way whatsoever. And it would be cool if you, for example, drop an apparatus or something, then they eat it, and then it like explodes inside of them or something and that way you can kill a forest giant by feeding them something like super dangerous like it would be really fun like yeah they it would give like a pretty huge counter to the forest giant but i think that would just be a really cool idea for a fun way to counter one of the strongest outside enemies in the game um anyway do we have another one i think that's it right so yeah we we still need brackens we still need Coil heads. We, we, that's it, right? Brackens and coil heads. Laser pointers work. That is a... Um, there is a clip going around of someone pointing a laser pointer and s somehow it looks like the giant is distracted. We've tested it and it doesn't work. Oh yeah, the worm and the snare flea as well. Oh my god, what is this weather crap? Dude, it's stormy now. I'm gonna lose, man. Well, we're going back because we, we need the thing. Trust me, thank you for the super sub. Um, I'm gonna take this. Can I take this? I guess I'm not gonna take this because it's just like suicide if I take that. When it's stormy, we're just gonna take a flashlight since it's plastic. All right, this is unfortunate. What we're actually going to do is this. We are going to drop a shovel next to the ship and another shovel on the other side of the ship, which is gonna count as lightning rods for the lightning to strike, which will hopefully keep the ship safe a little bit. Now, just in case we're gonna run out of flashlight before we are back, I'm going to put the light switch here so it's easier to spot next to the monitor when the light is off. You can see it right there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna go back to the fire escape because that's where we, we still need to pick up the, the thing. 
Yeah, best spot for the light switch right there. If, if it, because if the ship gets struck by lightning, it will turn off the lights. So then you're gonna be in the dark, and it's hard to find. Don't take damage if you can avoid it. There should be a note down here, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this one. Golden Planet, August, question mark, question mark. Here we are. Let's save. I forgot, I don't have spray paint. There's a painting, there's a comedy mask. Dude, this is, Red is being extremely nice to us today, which is awesome. This is not electric as well, so that's like the perfect loot you want to see. Um... Because if you find a bunch of goblets, like, yeah, that would be good. If not for the fact that they will kill your ass. Uh, there's a mine there, which is actually perfect for killing nutcrackers. Wait, this mine is insane for killing nutcrackers, dude. If a nutcracker spawns here, we can bait it into the mine and kill it with the with a stun grenade. Uh, oh, there's a kitchen. Dude. Oh, dude, there's a hairbrush. Teeth will not be struck by lightning, right? Hair or hair dryer, another hair dryer, and a lamp that's inside here. Can we pick it up? We can't. Maybe through the wall? Nah, unlucky. They really need to fix that bug, man. They really need to fix the bug of, of lamp spawning inside of kitchen islands. It's probably one of the most frustrating um, for me personally. Like when you're trying to get loot and then you just get fucked this set. Oh, come on, man. You're teasing me. You're teasing me with this loot. That, uh, the main entrance is right here. Okay. Um, Maybe I should just go from the main entrance then. You're teasing me with this loot I can't pick up, dude. <laughs> is this going to get struck by lightning? I don't know, but I'm going to drop it here just in case. Okay. Well, oh, there was something there. What? Oh, yeah, it is it's just laying on a black towel. Oh, hi there, Mr. Spider. Hello, Bunker Spider. I'm going to leave you. That's actually amazing. Whenever I see a Bunker Spider now, I'm super happy because I understand more of how the, the monster spawn works. Uh, a Bunker Spider will actually take up three monster power. There, For example, Rent has a total of 10 power on the planet. So if you... Ha oh, this is an annoying spawn for him, though. Um... If you see one of them, it'll take, like, three of the ten available power level, which doesn't mean much if you don't understand, like, the other monster's power level. For example, a coil head is considered to be one power. Oh, come on. So, <laughs> if you kill a spider, which I also didn't know this, killing monsters will actually free up the power level for other monsters to take their place, which means... That if you kill a spider, you can have three coil heads spawn instead. So you'll kill one spider, which is a totally meaningless, non dangerous enemy. And instead, you'll get, like, a bunch of fucking coil heads. So, like, never kill a spider unless you have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving the tea kettle because it's electric and I don't want to die. I hope these are not. These might be. Or it's not electric, it's uh, metal. Scared. I'm listening. I don't hear zip zips. So we're fine? Oh, it's being struck by lightning. It's See, the ship hasn't been struck by lightning at all. Because the lightning rod thing. Okay. That was totally fine. That was a lot of money. Uh, we're going back. We can go... Fire escape. We had some loot outside of the fire escape, right? Didn't we? Should have taken my fun. Didn't we? Painting? Something like that? We can take the other shortcut. So there's two ways that you should know if you go to rent. Um, one of them is obviously... Well, there's many ways. There's going to the fire escape, which is like this. You just walk off. Oh, yeah, there was a mask as well. Uh, and then the other thing is how you get back from it to the ship, which I already showed you. But if you don't want to go to the ship and you want to go main entrance instead, there is also a way to do that. You go up here, you go to this lamp, and then you you curve slightly to the left here. You, you walk down and you curve slightly down to the left. 
And eventually, well, not all the way down. Eventually, you will reach the main entrance. It's a little not a great setup. Like, it's not a... Not the easiest setup, but it will generally work. Like, there should be main entrance here soon. Just keep scanning. We already got... No, I'm haunted again. No! The spider! Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go. Goodbye, cruel world! Get me out of here! Alright, whatever. Fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. Okay, I gotta be quiet. Okay, well, we have the lore, which is why we're here. And we're probably gonna be able to get enough loot in the next, uh, cause we have one more day. The next day is gonna be very important. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? They're just like, sometimes they dash like perfectly. Okay, here we go. Next lore, uh, Sigur, which I think is actually the last lore page, right? The last lore page, this is all of them. Golden Planet, the, um, this one is very interesting. I talked to a voice on the walkie-talkie. It was like a part of the screams. He told me the golden planet actually existed. It's not a legend. And he told me it didn't just hit a meteor. He said the planet was swallowed up by the beast. And they were in its body, being digested. I asked what the beast is, and he said he didn't know. He said he ate the- it ate the planet, and they forgot everything. I couldn't get him to stop talking. But I said he was on the other side of a big wall, and I could get him out. I said I w he was inside the building, and that's when he started freaking out. I couldn't make out a word. I think he said something about spitting out the r rinds. I don't know what a rind is. So I just turned it off. What a whack. Jess says the golden planet is just a story. I said I know. I'm not an idiot. Well, she said I should... Well, she said I should quit, and she quits if I do. So she's staying. It's the edges of a watermelon. Oh, skin of a fruit. Okay, interesting. So, this is a potential, uh, like, e or early Easter egg for a future planet that might be added, like, or a future, like, end game l story planet where you can go to the golden planet to, I don't know, inside of the beast or something. Like, the, the lore here, the lore snippets are so insanely cool, and I really love this last one, the golden one, and I can't wait for them to add more as well oh we still got we still got lots so we we kept 50 percent, which is still 700 because we had so much freaking money uh we're gonna go back obviously now hopefully we won't die again because then we probably lose um that was super unlucky i really want to drain kill a nutcracker we still have to scan the bracken um and we want to have enough money so that we can go wait i need spray paint so that we can go to Titan and rent like one after the other, which we might not have enough for that, but that's fine. Um, Titan solo is a complete disaster anyway, which I was thinking doing like a, a solo challenge where you go to, um, there's one more on rend. Wait, really? There's no, I looked it up on the wiki and I didn't see any. Wait, is there one more on rend? Where is... I'm not seeing it on the thing. I already found the one that's here. Unless they missing one. Um... Where would it be then? Three unfound logs? Wait, what? 
Uh, logs, lethal company. I looked up on the wiki and I didn't see anything. But let's see. Um, where are they? Okay, well, we'll have, to, we'll have to have more to explore then. Where is it then? Oh, the golden planet was unfound until recently. Okay, wait, we're literally pioneering the lore here. Okay, so it is... Oh, wait, then I know where it is. Because I already... I thought on the wiki that it looked very strange where they put the marker for this lore page because it's not at all where it actually is. Uh, so, wait, that means there's one over here. Wait, what? Because if I look at the map here... Um, if you look at the map here, you can see this is where the fire escape is. And then over here is the marking, but that's not at all where we were. This is where we picked it up, like in this cavern here or something. So we have to go up there and then to the right this way. How do we freaking get that one? Wait, let's see. So we go up here and then we go this way. Is this a new thing? Where is it? So it's along this side? It's like in the... It, oh, it's in this valley. It's gotta be. Oh, there it is. Dude, let's go. There's more lore. So there's three. Okay, we, where are the other ones? Nonsense. September. Wait, they survived for over a month? Okay. Wait, this is awesome. I was, I was a little sad that we were almost out of lore, but we're not. Where are the others? Do you... Does anyone know? Any lore master watching this and... Knows which one we've missed? Uh, we need to go down here, back to the fire escape. Okay, so we got another one. Uh, let's go in. On rend again. We already got two logs on rend, so I'm assuming that's all of them. Yeah, we survived for like 50 days, but we're... I mean, I guess Sigurd was pretty good at their job, huh? Uh, any loot? Yeah, over a month of being great assets. I'm gonna go upstairs. Well, that's not the way I should... I shouldn't mark it like that. That's confusing. Oh, well, it's, it's dead end anyway. So this is all a dead end, so then you just mark this. Boom. You don't go in there anymore. Any brackens? I mean, if, if I find a bracken, I'm probably going to die to it. Are there n lore pages on uh, Dine and Rend? Or Dine and, Ti Dine and Titan? Because I didn't see any when I did my research. But, I mean, I guess I should have known. I, I've been in communities before and wikis are... Oh, that's not the way to go at all. Uh, wikis are often wrong. I'm a dead end because... Oh, no, this door's open. Oh, fuck. I need to go back. No, this keeps going. Never mind. There is one on Titan. We have no idea. Wait, are you fucking serious? No one has found all the data logs. There's no way, dude. This game is it's like a million, like several million people have played this game. There's no way there's still logs that are missing. I mean, I guess you can, we can read the data mine logs. Um... But still, I don't believe that. They have, they have to have been found. What are people even doing, dude? There is one on Titan? I don't remember where. Yeah, that doesn't help me. I'm gonna go... Something coming out of the vent. Oogie. Oh my god, it's just freaking sprawling. This is why we got the spray paint. here Means I left the key yeah oh yeah yeah I did kind of need one huh I think you're downstairs that's fucking annoying as hell um okay this is all fucked it's a spooky man can we get a bracken any brackens there's a toothpaste it's not uh, stormy or anything, right? So we're fine. Um, I need to mark it like here. So I know that it goes this way. That this is the way out. Okay, so we have quite a bit of items here. It's 2 p.m. Um, 
This also, this was a dead end that I'm not marking. Oh, there's the key. I didn't mark this as a dead end. That's why you always gotta mark them. Coil head. Oh, there, there's a nutcracker. No coil heads though, as far as I know. Wait, over here was a locked door, right? Oh, let's go! I would never have been happy to see a coil head. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck coil heads, but now I got the scan. Let's go! <laughs> nice, okay. <laughs> Bring all this back. I'm sorry I'm leaving the key again. Um, we got enough of the rest of the stuff. Now we're just gonna take the shortcut back. Yeah, the question is, where are the other logs? That's interesting. So we found two on experimentation, one on Vow. We didn't find any on offense. There's one on Rend in the... Wait, there's three on Rend? Three logs? Why, are, why didn't they spread them out over the different planets? I guess they never went to Dino or Tide. Oh, fuck. Okay, so it is in the mountain here somewhere. We, there's three on Rend? You need a jetpack for the mountain? Well, we got a freaking jetpack. No, let me jump! Holy, you dickhead. Okay, this is bad. Um, what do we do now? There's four on experimentation. I don't believe that. I need you to leave, sir. I'm gonna close this door and wait a little bit. Uh, so we found another log as well. I guess we could read it now while we wait for this guy. Uh, although I should probably focus on. Wait, we need to, but if we die now, we lose the run, right? Very likely to lose the run. Um, three on Titan. Now nah, we're just making up shit, dude. <laughs> There, it says that there's none on Titan, but somehow you found three. Is what you're saying? Like, we shouldn't come back later because we don't want to go back to Rend if we don't have to. Um, idea, hiding, and so we're missing three. If there's four on experimentation, we're literally done because that's like all of them. There's 14 on offense. There's no. Okay. Where the fuck do we go? Wait, is that actually a log over there? Where is it? I don't know where it is, dude. Is it up there? I'm on a mountain. It's on one of the mountains. What the fuck, Sigurd? Why are you hiding this shit so well? <laughs> God damn it, Sigurd. You did, you dickhead. Um, I'm gonna bug this out real quick so I can fly forever. Um. Is it on, oh God. Don't make me die. I'm just gonna die to explosion. On this one? Like in the middle of the map. No! No! Why is it bugged? It's still bugged. I have to I have to go back to the ship, dude. I can't see anything. I couldn't find it, man. I don't know where it is. Uh, how much time do we have? How much time do we have? Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit! Help! Oh my god, I thought we were chilling! Get me out of here! Holy fuck! <laughs> Terrifying! What the hell? Holy shit! <laughs> you can't scan the the mimics. Holy! <laughs> that was awesome. What the fuck? Yeah, we got one on Vow. <laughs> that was terrifying. All right, uh, this game is very scary, huh? That was fun. We only got 200 there. That was not very good.
Okay, um, let's see. We need to read this one lower page. We have nonsense, a new one. September 27, 1968. Desmond, and at this point, there were three people, right? Aren't, aren't they? Since uh, the goodbye log, for 20 days, they've played with only, th or they have uh, been with only three people. Or they did say they would send a replacement. Maybe they did that. But I don't, I didn't read about any of the replacement. Desmond wants me to write down what we figured out and keep my nonsense to a minimum. So I'm going to put so much of my nonsense. <laughs> Screw him. The new crew. Oh, there's a new crew member right here. The new crew member is named Lucas. And he is so confused and scared all the time. What a baby. At least he. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> what if I? I can't read that. At least he. Can I fuck? I'm going to figure out what this actually says. Let me, let me quickly. What is this one called? This one is called nonsense. Here. At least he... What does it say? Confused all the time. What a baby. At least he doesn't smell like a monster. It's been so sunny, even though it is September, and these suits don't take it well. Okay, so Desmond traced the call and found out there's a group of people somewhere else that pretends to call us from the company building. They are across the whole solar system. Why would they be so far away? Desmond says he doesn't know, but I think... But I think... Wait. Desmond says he doesn't know, but I think. What if there really is a big monster in the company building? Like the voice told me on the walkie-talkie. They trapped it and we feed it to keep it tame. I just wanted a stupid job. Let's go. My man was taking a shower. Yeah, that was actually fucked up. That, that's like the second time I've ever seen that. But that is terrifying. Okay, so that is super cool. Another lore page. Now... I've, we need to know where the other ones are. We also need to go back to the company, of course. Okay, so we have uh, we have looked it up, and there's two logs that literally cannot be found in the game right now. They are no, there's no locations associated with them, which means there's probably going to be new planets that will have them. Before we read those, uh, we should first obviously read the coil head, um, and then we should go to Dine, and we can read them after each trip. We'll do two trips on Dine and read them and I'll hopefully reach the next quota. I don't even know if that's going to be possible. Coil heads. Here we go. Coil heads. Danger level 80. I disagree. This is probably, in my opinion, together with Jester, one of the most crippling enemies that are currently in the game. Honestly, completely stupid that they have a single power level. The fact that Coil heads have only one power level, where and that can be like a maximum of five total. Means that there's almost always going to be at least one coil head spawning anywhere on the map, which will just either cripple one person or it will kill the people that are not paying a lot of attention because you can hear them coming. Like, that's the thing. Even if you hear them coming and you flick your camera to them, if you don't know exactly where you are at the company at that time or in the building at that time, you will not be able to make it out or you will need to have to be teleported. And it's just this whole fucking mess because this one enemy exists. It's insanely fucked up. The fact that this should have at least a power level of two with a maximum of two coil heads to spawn on each map. The fact that there can be five and there's only one power level associated to each of them is just ridiculous. I guess that's super dumb in my opinion. Anyway, scientific name, Ver, Ver Caligaris. Ver Caligaris, or colloquially named coil heads, have not been studied extensively due to their extreme unpredictability and dangerous properties. They've been known to combust into flames when being dissected or even deactivated. And they carry dangerously high levels of radioactive particles. Due to this and other reasons, it has been highly speculated they were created as biological weapons of war. Although this has not yet been proven. Coilhead's visual appearance is that of a bloody mannequin, with its head connected by a spring. Their defining behavioral characteristic is to stop when being looked at. However, this does not appear to be a hard and fast rule. When they encounter a loud or bright light, they sometimes appear to enter a long reset mode. Just stare at them or use a stun grenade. So yeah, do you have to... If you use a stun grenade, they will actually be stuck for like five seconds or something like that. So you can stun them and get away. But by far the best strat to get away from them is just close a door on them. Close a door on them and they will be stuck behind that door for a really long time. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. Uh, we still need the Bracken Log. We still need the, the Worm. And we need the Snare Flea as well. Uh, but we gotta go to the company first, sell, uh, 600 worth of loot, and then go to Dine, which Dine can be extremely dangerous solo because of the turrets, but that's 
Titan is the same way. Because Titan is also extremely dangerous solo. So yeah, just to uh, sell this shit. What's my quota right now? I actually don't know. You like this? You like this bitch? Wanna touch this great asset? We value your commitment. Uh, was that quota or do I need to sell more? I don't know how high the quota is. I just was gonna sell 600. Oh, the quota's only 300? Fucking pathetic. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna... Do we buy anything? We don't have much. Oh, we can actually buy... We should buy two flashlights. We have shovels. Uh, we have spray paint. So let's just buy row two. They're not on sale. And let's see. Shovels on sale? Shovels are still on sale. Do we actually buy two shovels? And then we can go to dine. Uh, wait, is there anything more in the store? Because if we can buy something fun in the store, we should do that. Cozy lights, jack -o lantern Okay, jack -o lantern and cozy lights are kind of nice. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. We sell stuff so we can buy those. I hope the thing doesn't leave. Do, 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 do. Open the door! Goodbye. Go. Zap gun, zap gun is completely useless solo because it stuns a monster so another person can kill them, but that doesn't do anything when you're solo because you cannot fight them and stun at the same time. Yeah, pajama suits are super high. You just only buy that when you're on like a high quota run and you have nothing to spend your money on. We bought them like on our 8k quota run, for example, where we sold a total of like 35,000 scrap or something insane like that. Um, besides that, you would never get it. Okay, so how much money do we have right now? What? Oh, yeah, we had 600. <laughs> I thought I just got like 800 out of nowhere. I was so confused. Okay, uh, jack-o'-lantern. And then cozy lights. Here we go. We got cozy lights. So now even if the lights are off, the lights are going to be on. Which is actually really... This is honestly underrated upgrade. Because it means that if you're in like a bay... Or in like a stormy map... If your ship gets struck by lightning, there will still be lights because the cozy lights take over. So it can never be truly dark anymore, which is always nice. Uh, uh, anyway, we're out of here. We got quota, obviously. Uh, now it's time to go to Dine, which is one of, if not the most, my most visited planet because we tend to go there a lot when we're on high quota runs. Um, it's a very dangerous planet if you don't have a turret or a, a ship person because you need to have like someone disabling the um, turrets all the time because there's lots of turrets on Dine, which can be very annoying. We got 83 overtime bonus. Um, we could even go to Titan if Dine is like super fucked here. Okay. I don't really want to go to Titan though. I don't want to go to Titan. I'm going to go to Dine. And I know that's stupid, but we're just gonna go eclipsed uh, now what we're gonna do So we're gonna do one round and then we're gonna read the uh, The log that we did that is not in the game right now. There's two logs that are just inaccessible in the game um, But I want to pretend that we found them on dine or something. I don't know man. We're, we're we're immersed right? This is the immersed playthrough Gotta be careful Turn on the fucking lights. Titan is very dangerous so I really like this map. What? Are you in the hole? What's going on? But my vision was going. Woo, my vision is still fucked up. The fuck? I'm just gonna leave that here. Whatever. Why is my vision still messed up? Isn't it? No. I guess it's normal. Oh, there's a fucking thing. You bitch. Bottles. No, 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 no. Wait. We can use the. All right. You know what? We're gonna fucking use the. <laughs> no, but I can't get back in here if I don't. Oh wait. Because if I leave now, it's gonna block the door, and then we can't get back in. So we have to bait it over to an area we can lock it behind. Uh, here? Okay, here. Yeah, this seems good. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Dude, everyone is trying to kill my ass. Fuck this place. Okay, I need to kill a thumper. Is this actually the first time we're gonna kill a monster during this whole thing? Oh, we can come through this door. 
Oh, it's locked. That's why it's not coming through. Okay, well, that's fine for me, honestly. Uh, can you come over here, sir? Lobby. God damn it. Any loot here that I can quickly take? Uh, the nice part, honestly, which you start to notice when there's lots of nutcrackers, the nice part about uh, dying is that there's lots of mine which you can use to kill nutcrackers easily. It's like the safest way to kill a nutcracker, just throw a mine at it, or throw a stun grenade on a mine. Okay, I'm gonna close this door, so you're stuck there, so you're not gonna kill my ass. Uh, and then I'm gonna leave this outside, so just- OH MY GOD, BRO! There can be a total of two slimes on one map. Guess who's lucky today? This guy right here! Thank you so much, sir. What the fuck do I do now? Are you serious? So annoying. Oh, there's a kitchen. That's not a kitchen. There's a key. We can open the door to the thumper and kill that guy. Which thumpers have a three power level, so just leaving them is honestly the best. Uh, if you can avoid them... Something is coming out of this vent. It's gonna be a nutcracker. Is it gonna be in bracket? Oh, come on. I have to kill you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, so sorry. Because he's gonna steal all my shit. You come this way. Come on. I took so much damage there. I just wanna fucking use the boombox because people keep like, use the boombox against the monsters. It's so good. I'm I'm assuming it's complete horrendous ass. This takes so long. Could I just I should just lock you outside here. We're gonna lock these up. So this is the best thing you can do, by the way. Um lock up the slimes in a room and just close the door on them. They cannot open doors. So um you You can just lock them up and then you have not you don't have to deal with them anymore. I love the I love the mansion layout. The mansion layout is so much better than the facility layout is insane. They should, they should totally, like, fix that. Like, the fact that pretty much every single team that is doing high-level uh, quota runs is going to, like, dine or rend and not tighten because the fa factory layout is just so absolute ass. I feel like they should do something about that. It's one point... No way it's a 1.55% chance to spawn a blob on on this map. I do not believe that. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, wait, there was a uh, bottles out there, no? There was something over here. Wait, you can't get through the door. That's cheating. Okay, we have a little bit of loot. Yeah, I always play with the HD mod. It may actually, like, I cannot watch people that don't use the HD mod anymore. Like, it is, it is so disgusting how the game looks without the HD mod. <laughs> it's actually fucked up. I'm gonna go back. Ah, I should have left the stun grenade, but I kind of need it for the giant. You gonna attack me? What changes with the mod? It makes the it makes the game look like a hundred times more clean. I fucking go, please. I'm gonna die. Phew, the stun, dude. Coming in clutch. That's why I had the stun. Me out here saying, why do I have a stun? I should leave it. That's why you got the stun. Hey, what's up? How you guys doing? Welcome, Raiders. How you doing? Thank you so much for playing yesterday. That was insane. We're just chilling with some lore today. Uh, we've gotten all the lore pages that are accessible. Oh god, my vision is fucked up. That are accessible in the game. There are two lore pages that are not accessible, which we are gonna read once we get out of this mission here. We're trying to get a little bit of loot. We are on an Eclipse Dying solo, which I don't know why exactly I'm doing this, but... Hey, follow Wolf God, thank you for the two. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Wait, we wanna do the boombox though, but there's fucking... There's shit everywhere, dude. I need to get some loot, man. I want to do the boombox. But the giant is there. I can't. I can't, gamers. I'm so sorry, but I can't. Risk it? For what? For dying? <laughs> Dickheads? Alright, sure. 
Here you fucking go, you bunch of monsters. Did I, do I have another stun? I don't even have another stun, I'm gonna die! You're gonna kill my ass. This is this is your fault. Ah! You killed me! Why did you do this to me? <laughs> See, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Why did he eat me twice? I'm so yummy. You had to eat me twice. This was our first day, right? We're fine. <laughs> there goes the boom <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so now we get to read. We'll we'll read one lore here, and then on the after the next run, we'll read another one. I'm curious about these like so hidden lore that they're literally not even in the game yet. That's interesting. Okay, so let me pull them up here. Okay, so it turns out there is another one on rend. After all, we have a little bit of cash, so we need. To, oh my god! Don't you piece of shit! Dines eclipsed again. I'm gonna have to go back here, eclipse. So we are going to do another round on rent, get some money, hopefully, without dying, so we can go back to rent, then get that lore page, and at that point, I'm gonna reach all of them. We just want some money to go to... This is a very different way of playing the game. Are you serious? It's fucked up, man. I don't have a stun grenade. He's on that side of the base, bro! Can I run? I'm gonna potentially die to this giant. And there's like very little I can do. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So we just need to get like 500... What was the quota? I forgot what quota is. Quota is like 500 something, right? So we should be fine. We love the company, exactly. Okay, so far we've still been holding on. Don't kill me instantly. Okay, this is fine. Uh, no. Oh, I thought it was gonna be that. We just need a little bit of loot. Just a tiny bit of loot. Which, Dine is actually, like, kind of amazing solo if you get lucky with the turret spawns. Because the loot is all so close. Um, like, the, the fire escape is so close. To the main exit. Or to the, to the ship, sorry. This is all... I'm gonna check upstairs real quick. This is... It keeps going up here. Oh, nice. A little item here. 63 teeth. I'm gonna point that this is the way to go. Go down the stairs. Just so I don't get too lost. Wait, also down there, potentially? Okay, nothing here. Dude, this game is a whole lot scarier when you play it solo, huh? There's another, this is why the, the the dot system is so important. Because when I am on a mansion map and there's like seven fucking man or libraries close together, I will never find my way out again. Cause it's so confusing. Cause there are so many, <laughs> there's like, like where did I go up? Where did I go down? Where am I supposed to go? I don't freaking know, man. It's so confusing. Okay, this I've already checked this way. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, that's creepy as hell. Did we come down here already? Hey! How did you die? I needed to scan your ass, bro! How did you die? That's the one of the monsters we don't have yet. What the fuck is this? How did he die? Just had a heart attack? Died of natural causes? The fuck? Fall damage? Snare flea dies of fall damage? I need to go up here, so we're just gonna mark this real quick. He's dead. Um, okay, there's a flash grenade which we can use. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I might have to ditch this now. I'm telling you, the spray paint is so heavily slept upon. It's so good. Is this 40? I'm gonna maybe leave this. It's only 10. Wait, there's candy as well. Um, so we just follow the dots back now. That is very unlucky. I mean, we could go to a basic map to get the lore page for that one. And then we have to go down and we could have maybe connected these in another way. And then I have to potentially leave my spray paint here for now. 
take this so we don't have to waste a bunch of time. Oh my god, I hate the not being able to see the. Is that the way back? No. He did not see me. Hi, right, let's go! Scan his ass, I'm gonna die! I can't run. It's fine, because we don't die to. You can't die to snare fleas when you're playing solo. Uh, they will just go off your head eventually. Can you let me go, sir? Please. Sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. We had a little... You, s you can hear them, but it's so fucking scary. Okay. Um, I... Turns out I'm lost now. Which way is my fucking dot, man? There's a dead end there. Is my dot up the stairs? It was down the stairs, right? Is it this way? There's a dot above that door. Okay, here. Fuck you! Get me out of here! Solo! What am I supposed to do when there's two fucking giants? <laughs> this is so annoying. Okay, um, and they're gonna camp my loot. I wish I could. Like, this is where, you know, there's a, there's a really cool strat where you can teleport someone away. So I guess we're just going to the other side. Oh my god, there. Where you can run away from a giant and then teleport that person. So you bait the giant far away. And then you get teleported back and you're safe. Is the giant literally in the ship? What is that red dot there? Oh no, that's the that's the thing. This this closet. I need to get some fucking loot. I can't. Can't stay close forever. The doors are Five Nights at Freddy's, guys. Why two flashlight? That is a good question. I forgot I didn't drop my flashlight. <laughs> I thought I dropped everything. This is actually impossible, dude. It's it's fucking stupid. This is why giants need counters, man. The giant is... So I couldn't even fly away with the jetpack if I wanted to. Because they're just camping the crap out of the base. I, I can't do anything anymore. Like, I don't, have a, I don't have a stun grenade. I can't go out. I can't even inverse teleporter myself in if I wanted to. Okay, maybe. Maybe we just go fucking main. Oh, I'm dead. Because he saw me from a million fucking light years away, dude. I love this game. Oh, wait, he let go of me. Oh my god. Can I make it? Fuck this shit, dude. I need to get loot, man. actually messed up can we get the worm scan so we got we need bracken still oh there's a any brackens oh shit well that's nice can i just die to a bracken after scanning it please i would really like to find a bracken right now then we have all the indoor monsters uh oh you got like a billion loot bro I can't steal it because I'm low HP. Why? Yippee. You got my stuff. I hate it here. And I can't go through this.
Okay, I have one thing. One single item. <laughs> and then I have to make it back somehow. <laughs> This is an experience. This is a goddamn experience, to say the least here. Can we get- I mean, probably the Yippie already scavenged all these places to find all the loot. Yeah, probably. This is unbelievable. Oh, wait, this is back here. Oh. What the fuck? Wait. Okay, wait, so it's pretty close to the main entrance then. Wait a minute. Was there any loot at the main at the fire escape? No, but the coil head is there as well. I'm gonna go back the normal way and see if I wish I had a shovel, man. I could beat the shit out of this yippie and steal all his stuff. Wait, is he there? Wait, if he leaves, I can just steal his stuff and run out. Dude, he fucking knew. He knew his stuff was being yoinked, man. <laughs> he felt it in his bones. Oh, that was so stupid. The two giants. <laughs> God damn it. Alrighty, it's fine. Um, we need to get 500 in one day. Is that gonna be possible? Oh, we actually have like 100. We have 140. We need to get 400 in one day. Oh, now it's flooded. Yeah, Eclipse Eclipse flooded. I love it here, dude. This is my favorite moon on the Citadel. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm gonna take a shovel. I'm gonna rush main first. I'm gonna have to leave this shovel behind, so get ready for that. Um, did I have another shovel in there? We just need to get enough to go to dine so we can get that last lore page. And then we have all the lore. And then we don't find a Bracken. At that point, we can always see what the text says, but I would love to find one. We have the snare flea, right? So we can reach snare flea. I can't believe that turned out that way. That was unbelievably stupid. Okay. Don't kill me with a turret right away. Or a mine. Imagine, I've walked in there and I get mine. <laughs> that would have been something. Oh, there's stuff. Anything else? I mean, I'll take just the bottles. How much? I don't know how much. Okay. I mean, we didn't die to a giant there, which was honestly impressive. We could have just left with, like, nothing. Which would have been stupid. We need to go back pretty soon here, remember, because it's flooded. Anything back here? There's got to be something behind these. There. Nice. So those are dead ends. I mean, this is gonna be a dead end too. All right, one more thing. If we can just get a full inventory back, I'd be totally happy with that. I'm gonna leave this here for a moment because I have a shovel. If my if a yippie steals my stuff, he's gonna have a terrible time. Okay, no nothing else here. I, if only the loot bug was gone for slightly longer there, we would have actually been so rich. You have no idea. Tragedy mask. And then we would have had to try and make it back out somehow. Okay, this is where we need this. Um, there's a another thing. We're almost full. All right, we have... How many items? We didn't check these. Oh, this is just tunnel network. This is going to be confusing. Oh, fuck me. Hi there, Spider-Man. Hi. He's actually kind of cute. I gotta give it to him. Oh god, I gotta go. Um, I should probably just bring this back, right? I got a full inventory. I just leave this here. And then go back with loot. And then go fire. I'm sorry, shovel and spray paint. We need this. this so our strat is always rush. Um, spider's actually good because that takes up a lot of the power. 
Uh, leaving the shovel and spray paint there, it's fine. Because we're going to go quota anyway. We might not have enough to buy. As long as we have enough to go to Rin. That's all I need. Okay, so I put little dots above the door. It's super useful to find your way back. You just flip around, put the dot. And you need to look behind you anyway for brackens um, and coil heads. Not for the girl, though. <laughs> There's only a single log we haven't found yet. Which is apparently on Ren. There's apparently three logs on Ren for some reason. Turns out Sigurd really loved Ren like every other high quota runner. <laughs> boom, boom. Okay, three on. This is good. This is good. This is good. Do we have. Um, we have one more shovel. We don't have another spray paint, so we're gonna have to. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna take a key. Just in case this. Um, it's gonna be blocked off. I wish I had more stuns, man. Really shows you the power of stuns against giants. I didn't realize it was gonna have fucking like several giant spawn every time. This never was a problem. Oh no, the tree spawn. Are you kidding me? I think we can do it with this tree. Sometimes this tree spawns in a way that you can't get up here, which is actually fucked up. Uh. Ooh, there's a mask, nice. Come on, give me some. Is that gonna be locked? Oh, there's a thing. Okay, I'm leaving that there just to. Do... Oh, fucking not. Right. Wait, this is good. I'm leaving these here as like my own dot. Oh, Jesus. Wait, fuck. If I can take that stuff, man. Oh, no, come on. Why? Can I take that somehow? Can I run past this and not die? Is that a thing I can do? Okay. No! There's another thing behind the turret. Is this turret rotate all the way? Can I jump behind the turret? Hey! Eat shit, bitch. I'm out of here. Nice. Okay, this is very good. Holy. And then we just take the brass bell as well. The fuck is this? Insane loot, baby. Um, I'm gonna bring this out. I'm gonna bring this out and then come back potentially for more. But now we already have enough. Dude, we actually made quota. Cool. <laughs> I think so. I have to work my ass off for this quota. A damn battle. Chemical, thank you for the three. Mudkip, thank you for the sub as well. Okay. Boom. 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 That is already quota. Let's go. But there's still more, so might as well get that. Um, it's only two after all. It's actually kind of fun. I've, I haven't played solo since I really went tryhard mode. Um, it's a very different experience. It's much more high stakes. And it's actually, it's like fun, stressful. I mean, if you reach really high quotas, it's going to be stressful, stressful. But it's also fun. Okay. I just want to get the loot here. Like, maybe get an additional... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, I have a shovel. Um, fuck. But he's going to be... No, he hit me on the way out. Now I can't go back in. Oh, damn. That's so annoying. If I would have made it out without a hit there, I would have gone back in. No, don't. Not again, bro. There's two again? Are there? He's standing right on the other side of this fucking tree. Get ready to leave the shovel behind and fucking blast it. You go away, you camping bastard. Okay, eat shit. <laughs> Actually, I hate giants with a passion. They're just like the worst enemy in the entire game. Change my mind. I'm leaving. 
I'm leaving. Okay, uh, we have to read the. If I can see. Bestiary for. Uh, snare fleas. Here we go. Snare fleas. Sigurd's danger level 30%. Scientific name Dollus Scolopendra. Could I please see again? How much loot did I get there? 500. That was pretty solid. Or so good one. Um. A very large anthropod of class Kilo Kilopoda. Its body produces a silk, which it primarily uses, uses, you, which it primarily uses to propel itself to places where it is concealed. Its exoskeleton is somewhat fragile, and they can die, die from long, long falls. Is that exactly what happened to the other one? Can they actually die from falling far? The snare flea does not produce venom, nor does it have a strong bite. It makes up for its weakness with its ability to tighten itself around large prey to suffocate. The snare flea thrives in dark, warm areas. It cannot survive low temperature and generally avoids open air and sunlight. Take the rats outside or just beat the hell out of them. I think their insides could make a good milkshake. Oh, wait, so it's actually lore-based that if you take them outside, they die because they die to sunlight? That's interesting. Um... All right, well, I honestly think uh, in multiplayer, snare fleas are some of the more dangerous enemies, honestly, because they, I mean, not really if you have a shovel, but like once you get to like really high gameplay, you can't walk around with a shovel all the time because you need to have as much inventory as possible to be able to uh, bring back loot. So for those situations, it's pretty dangerous because like if you get caught by them, you die, but still definitely deal you can definitely deal with them relatively easily uh so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sell this get enough money for rend then go to rent find the last data entry that's actually in the game then after that we're gonna read the the two data entries that are not in the game that are just like hidden in the code somewhere um and hopefully we'll find a bracken along the way and then we have truly done a 100 percent lore secrets uh, immersive playthrough while still surviving somehow in a single player playthrough. Those last few runs definitely weren't very good though. Uh, yeah, the worm as well, if we can find one on like a... I mean, we can find one potentially. Can you open this thing? So if we see a worm... I mean, I've only really gotten fucking giants to spawn on dying, so maybe rent's gonna be easier. We've definitely had giant spawn on um... Uh, do I need anything? I definitely need pro flashlight, right? Pro three, shovel three, spray. I can't buy another. I shouldn't have gotten that much. Can I buy spray? Spray on sale? I can't buy spray paint. Well, whatever. We're gonna have to do it sprayless. I should have not bought that many shovels, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, a stun grenade would have been good too. It's fine. I didn't realize I had so little money. Uh, I'm used to having infinite money <laughs> because we used to be on like. Uh, such high quota runs that you just get like 4,000 quota, so you can spend as much as you want. You'll never get through all your money. Um, we're gonna get maybe a tiny bit of overtime, which could give us enough for like a stun grenade, which would be kind of useful. Uh, we still have the jetpack, which is nice. We can use that to fly around on rend. How much do we get here? Next quota. Is, it's still gonna be below a thousand. Only five overtime. Okay, that's not very good. Uh, can we go to rent? We're gonna go to rent no matter what, but it's nice that it's actually fine. Alright, rent to this. We got 30 bucks left. Uh, and now we need to find that, um, that log. Alright, let's see. I don't, I don't know where this is. Apparently this one's really hard to find because it's not even, like, on any of the wikis. Apparently it's on a mountain. Can we? Wait a minute. So, let's see. It is like, someone said you go behind the shed. There's the shed. So you go behind the shed. You go along a rock. Oh, there it is. Is that it? There it is. Let's go, dude. Nice. Idea, September 19th. Okay, that's the last one we can get. Dude, jetpack power? I have never really used jetpacks. It's honestly not even that hard to use. Honestly, maybe I've been sleeping on jetpacks. Oh, God. Maybe I haven't been sleeping on jetpacks, actually. <laughs> Shit. It's kind of dangerous, huh? Alright, we made it back. 
I'm gonna leave this here. I wish the jetpacks had better battery. Um, they're just like expensive as fuck. Let's take this and we go. To, we we should go fire escape for a second here. Uh, we're gonna like ex or do this this round to look for Bracken, right? We need to look for Bracken and potentially worm, so we want to stay out late and then hopefully dodge and scan a worm, which will be very hard. <laughs> we might die here, of course. I don't know how high the chances for brackets to spawn on dying, but hopefully we'll find it. Right, leave this shit here. I should have taken a key. Don't explode me. No, oh, don't be locked. No, I should have taken a key. Punished. I've been punished for my greed. Fuck me. I fucking knew it. Wait, why the hell is this rock, brother? Insanely annoying rock. Can I get out of here? Am I stuck in the fucking caverns of hell forever? Wait. This is the only way out, isn't it? What the fuck? Can you get out of here? Oh, you can't get out of here. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that would have been such bullshit. Okay. So where's the lamp? The lamp is inside the rock. Go figure. What? I mean, early access be like, I guess. All right, I'm gonna get lost now. I'm gonna go to main, which I think is over this way. Hopefully. Um, scan, please. There's a spooky tree here. Um, I may be lost. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I'm not lost. <laughs> I am totally not lost. Okay, can we get at least a little bit of loot? That would be nice. A tiny bit of loot for a single person doing this all by themselves. Ooh, cash register worth under 50. You should nab. Nice. Okay, that's going to be hard if there's a worm. We're going to die instead of scan. Worm is low chance. Okay, I mean, it's fine. Uh, like, no matter what, we'll read them. We can't find them. Let's see, to find here. Is this tunnel network on? No, maybe, yeah, probably. That's a dead end. Is this good going? Oh, it just, it's a big open area. I kind of like that having a so many locked doors. Having a big, oh, there's a present. Having a big open area as your starting, starting place in the tunnel network. I'll leave that here for a second as my direction to go back. There's another present. Leave that here. That's my... Oh my god. Okay, key. Um, not too bad. And there was a locked door, so we can open that with the key. Nice. Two presents. Presents are relatively heavy. Nothing in there. Where was this locked door? It was through one of these. It's fucking one of these. Wait, huh? How is there still spray paint on that door? <laughs> How is that still there? What? <laughs> this is a cigar, dude. Oh my god, this was so worth it. Dude, that's the most value I've ever gotten out of a single key of all time. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is gonna be very hard to take this back. Maybe we're not alone. Maybe Sigurd is trying to communicate with me. So we have the cash register and this one more mask and maybe some more loot, of course. I'm going to bring this out just in case it's going to be a fucking yippee that yoinks my stuff. Even though we have a, a, a thing here. We should definitely go back with the cash register first. That stuff is super heavy and if there's a worm. We're going to take the shortcut on rend. If you go behind here, Mentaiko beans, thank you for the five. If you go behind this rock, instead of following the lights, you go behind this rock. It is actually way faster. Um, you basically just go straight to the ship rather than taking the like weird detour with the lamps. Now, obviously, I would not recommend taking this route if you don't have a flashlight when it's late, because when it's late, you're not gonna be able to see anything. But yeah, see, we, we come up behind the shed here. And then right there is going to be the ship. Straight ahead. Like a huge shortcut. I'm dying as well. I'm dying taking the shortcut is very important. It saves you a ton of time. 
don't know why I took my flash there. I guess because I want to take a shortcut. Yeah, let's hope these presents are good. I mean, honestly, with this cash register alone, that's 150 bucks for a single cash register. That's pretty damn crazy. Yeah, we've been doing pretty well. I mean, we're not going to like 3,000 or like the same levels of quotas that you would be in a team, but still, we're holding on strong. All right, what's the present? It's a laser pointer worth a lot and a ring worth a lot and that okay Alrighty, then Very nice. We got 400 already on the ship extremely good Pretty solid and we have the log to read after this. This is the shirt. Right? Am I going the right way? I Don't see my footsteps. I sure hope I am going the right way I may be lost in the sauce Oh, there it's number one. I'm not lost in the sauce. Oh, that's a big rock. That's gonna be a cliff. All right, taking it the way to the main entrance is harder than taking it the way back. I don't really know the setup, I guess. That's the, that's the main difference. Okay, so there's two things out here, so we're just quickly gonna check. There was a high chance for there to be a nutcracker right there. Is there a bracken? 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 Where are you? I want to find a Bracken. It's, it's, what the fuck? These dots are still here. <laughs> that is so weird. Okay, that is actually very confusing. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my God, the mother load. Um, what the fuck, dude? Jesus. Loot be insane. That actually makes the dot system kind of confusing. Because if you see a dot, it might be a dot from last game. All right, well, I guess I'm going to take this back again and then do another trip back and forth. Alrighty, let's go. Boom. Sucks that there's a giant... Dude, look at these goblets, man. I should have taken the rest. I, am I going back? I really want to go back for the other stuff. 600, quite a bit risky. There's a giant out there now. I'm going to... Do I have a stun? I don't have a stun. I want to try and... It's like 200 bucks. If I just crouch walk... Actually, if I just want. I don't hear a giant right now. If I st keep my stamina, I should be able to. I'm taking a safe route now. I mean, there's the main entrance. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I can even take my shovel back. Right, I'm going. Nice. Sir. I don't know where the giant was. We heard him in the distance, but I guess he was. Is he stuck somewhere? I heard him again. I don't know where he is, but I'm. But he's not anywhere close to me, which is good. That's all I'm asking for. And now there's going to be a worm, and I die to worm. If I see a worm on the thing, do I? Try and bait it up. That would be so stupid. Dude. I thought I heard it. Oh. Alright, let's go. There's dogs. I don't think there's a worm. We got 800 bucks from that planet, dude. I'm out of here. I got lore to read. We got lore to read. Let's go. And we got quota. Eat shit, company. You think you can kill me? That was a very good one. How much was left? Oh, wait. Oh, because I didn't have the fix mod. We need to download the fix mod to fix the scan for item. But it's like, that's what I'm saying. There's so many bugs that are qual that quality of life mods can fix for you, which is so nice. Um, all right. We have Sigurd. Idea. Here we go. New log. September 19th, which is uh, after Richard dies, right, to the Bracken. It's after Sigurd hears the screams at the company building. Uh, It is also after the Golden Planet stuff, but before the nonsense thing, which was like the, the big monster that's like eating planets or something, right? September 19, 1968. The past weekend, it feels like Desmond and Jess woke up. 
Well, Desmond and Jess woke up. We're supposed to get out our fourth member of the crew in a few days. We aren't taking any risk anymore. We don't get as much, but it feels safer. And I've gotten better sleep. But it's still ass. I can still smell rich. I swear to God he smelled that bad. <laughs> I was talking about how the voice on the phone sounded fake. Then Desmond got this weird idea. He's the wizard and all. So he thinks there's a way to use the phone call I made to the company number to find out where the voice comes from. I don't know why he'd want to do that, but he seems serious. He's been using the terminal a lot. Okay, wait a minute. There is, um... So that is the, all the, we have all of the logs you can find in the game. Sigurd, all these, these are, these are the logs you can find in the game. Uh, there are, however, two more logs that are hidden on, in the code. So let's read those two logs that are hidden in the code. One, the first one is called hiding. Hiding, September 30, September 30, 1968. I keep having bad, let's, let's go cin cinematic on this one. Um. Hiding, uh, September 30, September 30, 1968. I keep having dreams about the company building where the company breaks out of that giant concrete wall, but I don't know if it looks like anything. I just think it's really big and fast. We can't figure out a way to know if the voices on the phone are real. Desmond says it's too far away. I asked him if he could take control of the autopilot and he said I'm crazy and that could kill us. Yes, I am crazy, De Desmond. He says that he says we would have to get our o own private flight to go to the coordinates, and who knows what would actually be there. So what if it's nothing? I started wondering how I can't remember how we really got here. No, I just remember little things like the shuttle flight to the building where we signed our contracts, but I don't remember getting on the shuttle. I don't even remember saying bye to dad. In my dreams, it feels like the company isn't trapped in there at all. It's just hiding. I don't know if I'm going home. What the fuck? And then last one, Desmond. October 50. Dude, these people are insane. They made it more than... How many days did they survive? They almost made it 90 days, right? They're actually more cracked than we are at the game. Desmond, October 3rd. Wait, why does it say October 3rd if this one is October 15? Excuse me? Desmond, October 3rd. Yeah, the quote is going to be like 10k at that point. I am encrypting these logs to keep them hidden, as I fear the system will be wiped if they are found. It's all a gu it's all a disguise. We're supposed to think it's all just a transaction, but our real job is keeping an incredible terror fed. How long until its fullness end and its hunger is insatiable? God knows. Maybe it has to do with all these desolate moons. Whoever reads this, I am sorry to burden you with this. Please have a good day and night, as what else is there for us to do? Holy shit, that is sick. So that is the final lore. So the company, as expected, is indeed a giant monster. And all the assets, the great assets out there, are uh, trying to keep the company fed. Which, uh, why don't we do that? Why don't we go feed the company right now? Because I think this run, we basically got everything. Uh, well, well, before we do that, let's read the bestiary of the two monsters we didn't find, right? Let's 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 end it off uh, completely. All right, first one, Bracken. Here we go. So this is the Bracken. We saw it. It killed us, which was absolutely terrifying. But I didn't get to scan it when it killed us. And besides that, we haven't seen it a single time. Uh, which is pretty rare, honestly. You see this one relatively often. Bestiary. There's debate on the genus to which the bracken belongs. It is a, bi a bipedal vertebrate with the skin, with skin the color and texture of a red beet. The name is coined for what appears to be leaves protruding from its upper spine. The purpose of these is believed to be for intimidation. However, not much is known about the specifics of bracken behavior due to its elusiveness and low population. We know a little from accounts by wildlife experts who have encountered it. It is a lone hunter with high intelligence. Its behavior can seem aloof. It exhibits high aggression even when unprovoked, yet quickly backs off when confronted. However, brackens are known to up their hostility when cornered or simply watched for a long time. It's theorized that upon death, their bodies undergo a rapid decomposition process, which is unique from other large animals. You can actually kill a bracken with, like, people say, you use the zap gun. Don't use the zap gun to kill a bracken. It is far more risky than it is worth anything. Uh, but if you have a shotgun, you can actually reliably and easily kill the, sh uh, the bracken by just shooting it with the shotgun. And it'll just, like, fall to the ground and vanish. It'll just disappear. It doesn't leave behind a corpse. Which is really cool, so that is indeed, um, that is indeed part of the lore. Sorry, I love Bracken. Bracken are such a cool enemy. 
And for the very last uh, monster that we didn't see a single time, we saw it on the the scanner one time, and we were like, uh, we were trying to run out to find it, but it just didn't attack us ever. So yeah, this is the Earth Leviathan, which by the way, this one, in order to avoid it, um, you when you hear the rumbling, which is like when it attacks you, drop as much as you can and just run. Like there's so many misinformation and stupid like a strats out there which i tried to follow they were like run the other other way like uh turn when you hear the rumbling and you see the particles turn around and go the other way that'll get you killed every single time like probably there's some people out there that can make that strategy work it is so unreliable as soon as you hear the rumbling do not ever wait until you see the particle effects because the particle effects at that point you're basically already dead if you see um if you hear the rumbling run like hell just drop as much as you can run out of there until the rumbling stops then you're out of the area of the worm then try to get your loot back by backtracking and just like playing like cat and mouse with the worm do not wait until the particle effects and then try to backtrack or something stupid just fucking run it's like the easy the, that's the counter danger level two percent what the hell is this scam the re re reverently named earth leviathan of the family piss Colliday is one of the largest invertebrates found in the Thistle Nebula. None have been captured, so, so not much is known of their biology. They seem to have be, they seem to behave as predators. It's speculated they can burrow as far as 40 meters underground, judging by the incredible excavations they can leave behind. They can detect even the slightest vibrations, and for this reason, it is not recommended to stay still if they are nearby. That is a myth. Instead, if you hear them burrowing, retrace your steps. So I think it's based on this, like retracing your steps, which, by the way, you can do that. You can just run away from them the other way. What I mean to say is do not ever wait until you see the particle effects to try and do some kind of spin maneuver or like other weird thing just run like just run as soon as you hear the rumbling that is what you have to do and you can run through them that's actually how you can bait them to go up if you run through them so backtracking is all is is relatively safe but you never know where they're coming from so yeah you never know and you can you just so what you need to do against worms is they're actually like one of the most tactical enemies in the game you need to have um preferably have a terminal person who sees the worms or if you encounter a worm or anyone encounters a worm when they get to the ship make sure to use the signal translator to type the message uh, like worms on like transmitted to everyone because you have to play completely different once there's a worm around because usually you would just sprint and try to get to the ship as fast as possible but if there's a worm you need to preserve your stamina so that if there the worm attacks you you can run away and be safe from it because if you run out of stamina when a worm tries to like burrow under you you will die every time so you need to know that there's a worm Worm, so you can play around it and save some of your stamina to run away and we after doing that strategy with the signal translator we never die to worms anymore sometimes we do but rarely it happens and they're really annoying because they will delete all your items which is a big problem because usually when someone dies to like a dog or something you can just go out there and grab their loot right you can just go get their loot uh, and pick that up um, like someone else can come get it but when you get eaten by a giant or the worm all your loot gets uh, gets gone all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna land um, and then go back up and then feed the company one last time here if we maybe get a secret voice line to end it off because we have do we have enough loot we have 753 that should be enough loot unless it's wrong in which case I'm just gonna die let's get out of here get to the company and hear the 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 monster in the company one last time zero days left it's time to go company one last time and so yeah probably as we were saying the battery underneath the company building is going to be some kind of weapon to fight the monster right to fight back against the monster and kill it somehow which I can't wait to see the lore. Like, the lore has actually been so much more interesting and cool than I expected. Like, this game was always going to be a success. Like, it's not only hilariously funny um, with, like, the slapstick humor that it creates, but the... What the fuck? But the mon... Excuse me? But the monsters are so amazingly made with like some of the coolest creative ai i've ever seen in, a, in in any game not even just a horror game that's super cool Alrighty, talk to me one last time bitch open that door jab what do you want fight me you piece of shit hello 
So, come on, attack me, bitch. Hello. Oh, come on. I was hoping it would attack me one last time for, for the last time. Dude, you fucking scammed me, man. You said it was going to be 700. It's not 700. Unless I missed something. Wait. Oh, there's a wedding ring. <laughs> okay, never mind. You didn't scam me. But we get another... You, we value your commitment. So there is a super rare, like, 3%... Can you attack me? Come on, please attack me. Hello, hello, hello. I want to fucking... If I ding this bell, I'm going to die, right? Because if I... Come on. Fuck you. I was trying to make it mad. You are true professionals. You are true professionals. But there is, like, uh, a few rare voice lines. Which, uh, the one... Wait, actually, can we... Can we find these online? That would be cool. Okay, so these are all the voice lines for the company building. Let's listen to them. Your work keeps the company happy. So that's we value your commitment. We need you. That one, I think that one is rare. I've had this one before. The E. <laughs> your hard work is invaluable to the company. What? The comp what? Wait, what is this one? There's no... Oh, wait, huh? There's no five? Wah? <laughs> that's all? Well, the company must stay happy. The company must. I've seen that one as well. I've had this one as well. The company must stay happy. The company must. Happy. The company must. This wall cannot contain it. That one. This is the one I've still wanted to have. This wall cannot contain me. Because that's actually very important lore for the monster, right? The monster that's in the company building that's being fed by all the employees. This wall cannot contain me. <laughs> okay. Your honest work is invaluable to the company. You are true professionals. Keep our investors happy. Keep our investors happy. I also heard that one. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, so those are... Uh, all the voice lines, especially that one, uh, these walls cannot contain me is super cool. It would be very cool if you could hold, like, the, um, I wonder if the phone, you know the phone in the game, right? We didn't find a phone. I was really hoping we would find a, a, a phone during this whole playthrough. You know that if you're holding a phone, it does, like, a scream? Like, it, it picks up, you hear, like, a, like, a scream and then, like, a dial, like, an end of a call tone. I wonder if that's, like, a call from beyond the company building. Like, the scream from the company. And, like, if you were to hold a walkie-talkie, it would be really cool if it would scream as well. But, yeah, that is all of the lore. I learned a lot more about this game. Very, very cool. You cannot scan the tentacles as far as I know. You know what? Let's go say hi to our company man. Hello, bitch. You're not going to fight me? <laughs> that is the monster in the company oh wait i didn't fly up to the thing but yeah so if you want to see that you should just check out any of our high quarter runs because at the end of any high quarter run we always like fly around with the jetpacks and oh we actually keep a jetpack wait never mind we can't go back down i forgot that we keep this i'm gonna go back to the company we win we we get the quota easy peasy i want to show you the thump of the company the next quota is gonna be not so but so uh, what was it? Well, not really. It's only 900. I'm flying. Your work keeps the company happy. So you can... There's actually a few secrets here. I shouldn't go too fast. You can fly all the way up and then look at this. You can, like, get on top of the company and just chill here. You can see the skybox, which is, like, really fucked up. <laughs> Well, not like it's just like it doesn't fit at all is what I mean. Like it's just a Google uh, Google Maps image, which is so strange. That's why it looks so weird. I mean, the, the sky looks good, but the, the image itself is so strange. And then on top of that, you can also get on to the, um, the drop pod. Oh, or you just die. I guess. If you don't go too fast, you can land on the drop pod. But anyway, I think that's where, <laughs> that's where we're going to call the lore playthrough. So this is basically a full... Uh, did you see the jetpack fall down there? That's basically a full playthrough of the game. With even lore included that isn't even in the game yet. Because the... Um, the two audio log... Or the two logs... Uh, like the last two logs... 
uh, were not added to the game for whatever reason, which makes sense. It's like an early access game that just somehow blew up to beyond anything anyone ever imagined. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if you want to see more solo content. I had fun just being immersed, uh, decorating my place a bit, and just seeing all the stuff, all the enemies. I, I love this game, and like not just playing it as like a super tryhard, but just the and like the experience of the game itself like all the monsters feel so real like i think i when i first started playing this game i said it well uh the the, the thing that makes these monsters so unique is that they don't feel like they're trying to scare you like they're not there as like a horror monster like oh i do a jump scare pn like a jump scare animation to scare you and it's like all fake no they are animals that are trying to kill you they have like assigned behaviors assigned intelligence and they will do whatever their like intelligence wants them to do like the bracken will find the sneakiest ways to hunt you down uh the like hoarding bugs have very like like unique ai and all of them are just so unique like the bunker spiders the way they act it's just super super cool and very well made and i'm super excited to see what kind of monster and the, the mimic like the mimic as well like how we had the mimic hang out in the ship and we came back to the ship and suddenly there's a mimic that's trying to eat me like there's just all of the monsters are so cool so yeah i am excited to see where this game is going i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely games here chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye